Wait, 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 hold on. Hold on. You seem to have quite the fidelity for UN laws when it comes to your side of your argument, right? But the moment it's respecting, I don't know, any UN, UN resolution when it comes to the state of Israel, you're like, ah, oh, no, these are genociders. Is this, this really like, your best argument? The UN. State. Is this seriously your best argument? No, the UN said so 70 years ago. Uh, the, a Hamas this... rocket hit your head. The explosive payload was just enough to concuss you, but not enough to kill no, you. No, and that's no, no, why no, you hate no. them now. <laughs> No, no, no. So, so okay. So, outside of me what? agreeing with some things sometimes, but disagreeing with other things sometimes, what's the next banger you're going to throw at me? Did a Palestinian kid look Peter, extra the, menacing? The state, the state of Israel was tiny. The Arab League decided to gang up on Israel. We protected ourselves, and now, now what happened? The we, we protected the you. Moment, wait, wait, moment, wait, 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 don't get, don't get arrogant. We protected you. Without, without American military adventurism, you guys would be a smoking crater. Okay. Yes. Oh, yes, no, oh no, yes, it is. Oh, no, yes, it is. Oh, there yeah. Is no you think the, in the you, first war that Israel got help from the United States? This is not true. Second of all, the fact that we protected that land with our blood, right? Now the Palestinians cope and see because they're on the losing with side. With your blood. Wait, 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 wait. Who cares? Wait, the, the issue at hand here, they should have won. Like, you guys came in there and you immediately tried to genocide the existing population you're replacing. We were Israel is we were a cancer. They declared the war. They, they initiated. Oh yeah, we, they we right. They initiated. I know. It didn't begin with you displacing hundreds of thousands of them. You're such a fucking cry bully, dude. Oh uh, yeah, we, we enlisted the help of some of the most powerful imperial countries on the planet to justify our annexation of a territory and the displacement of an ethnic minority there. Hundreds of thousands of people forced to leave their homes, and then you cry that they're mad about it, and then you cry when using American guns, using American money, you then continue to defend yourself from all the neighboring countries that fucking hate you. You guys oh, are fucking dude, pathetic. Ah, you're history. pathetic. Your that biggest enemies, your biggest enemy is Palestinian country. children with rocks, and you cry about it more than we did about 9/11. And genocide. And the moment the Israeli people do it, the moment the Jewish people do it, and they're not even wait. The mo we, wait, I'm sorry. Wait, we the moment the Israeli do people do it, the genocide. Right? Wait, the did, everyone that, right? you, did everyone else just hear it? Did everyone else just hear him people. say that? He's like, they were escaping genocide, but the moment the Israelis do a genocide, everyone gets mad at us. Yeah. I just heard you say that. I may have been talking over you, but I heard it. Yeah, I will get mad at you when you do the Holocaust to Electric Boogaloo. Hey, hey, Bosh, Bosh, are you LGBTQ? Are you LGBTQ? Did you know that Palestinians, they, they literally... They literally kill That's LGBTQ That's crazy, people outside, dude. Right? I agree. I agree. We should, just, we should just we should just nuke two thirds of the world because they also don't support LGBT rights, dude. All of your arguments are literally like fucking um, neoliberal like meme bait here. Do you seriously believe any of the shit you're saying, or are you, you generally is stupid? I, I, now, I know this isn't your first rodeo because your ass is red because you keep falling off the fucking bowl, you stupid piece of shit. Uh, how can you agree with yeah, one UN whatever, resolution whatever, but disagree whatever. with another UN resolution? How can you how, how can you disagree with genocide when we do it? Let's go, baby. How can you disagree with genocide? The people we're genociding don't like gay people. How could you? Dude, you guys' biggest enemy are fucking children with rocks and you still cry more about it than we did about 9-11. Go piss yourself. Fuck off. Get this guy out of here. I would very much like to take the state and take uh, get the technology to replace many of its functions like we've been doing. This has nothing to I do also, with what we were talking about. So you think you current, should never rise up against authoritarians? You think we should just sort of like just well, deal with it? The, be cuck boys? Cuck cuck? Look, I, the history of rising up against authoritarians, uh, even authoritarians, leads to worse outcomes. So you're... Than, a, okay, so you're a... Anti anti statist anti statist. I see. So you're you you're no you're a libertarian, sense. but don't you protest the government? Like that's actually your position. I'm opposed to violence, and I'm opposed to solving problems with violence. I think voting is an adequate mechanism by getting in a democratic. Ukraine was democratic. All they had to do was have a freaking election. Okay? Uh, except, so um, well, hold on now. Except Yanukovych was passing what were called the black laws, the anti protest laws, so severe that it would have allowed him to arrest his yeah, opposition. Except he. He already said that he would actually take them out. And that was his Oh, he said? He oh, 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 I'm sorry. Hey, I'm going to have my political party pass these eight hyper-authoritarian anti-protest laws that would give me total control over the country. But don't worry, you, I'm only doing them for emergency you powers. You do realize that Zelensky canceled, like, the elections in 2024 for that same reason and the Constitution of Ukraine Really, I wonder, is do... anything happening in Ukraine right now that makes it really difficult to run a functioning democracy? So... 
when he does wait, it, no, there's answer, wait, 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 hold on. That wasn't rhetorical. I is know. there anything? Wait, I'm curious. I want to know because you're so Again, knowledgeable. Nuance for me, but what's not happening? For well, what's happening in Ukraine? That, that's crazy. Canceled elections? Well, well, hold on. Wait, wait. Canceling elections is seriously bad. Countries don't normally do that unless they're like an active war, like being invaded or something. So, what yeah. happened in Ukraine? That what led happened to that in happening? Ukraine was that every peace agreement that could have happened was. Wait, 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 wait. What does this happen? Wait, wait, wait. United you States. were talking about canceling elections. What? I'm sorry. What? What happened in Ukraine to lead to that? That's crazy. Every I'm telling you what happened. So what the happened in Ukraine that led to the cancellation of the elections? Did Zelensky say what it was? Did he did he mention that was or was it just he, he was ambiguous? Did he just say because are you going to say you're so simplistic? Oh, there's no, a wait, word. Just, just answer. Wait, what did he say? What did he say? You can't okay, say it. Say you you notice you notice the ring. I like how the first words out of your mouth were United States because you're a hack. You can't answer because you Any know country. you're lying. This is the one you know, but I could say France. So there's wait, oh, wait, answer the question. Wait, hold on. Wait, re really quickly. OK, because I don't want you to feel sure. as though you can do this forever and get away with it. All right. Here's I'm trying to no, do no, no, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. It's 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 a it's a there's one correct answer. What happened in Ukraine? to lead to the elections being canceled. Call ends if you get it wrong. There is a war. Oh, look at that. If it means you get to keep blathering to my audience, it seems you're capable of a succinct and correct answer. Maybe try those more in the future and I'll... I'm, and you'll what? I get mean, a couple answers out speak, of you. You'll let me speak, actually? I would love that. Oh, I I want whoa, 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 let's not go overboard here. Okay. Categorically, Luna did not call you a pedophile. She said she quoted something that you said, Wasn't and I a quote. do. I do happen to agree. There, is, I, I don't think there's any situation where an adult can have a child, a, a sexual relationship with a child, and it has a positive out, outcome. So, if you had actually seen the full bit that was clipped from, then you the would agree. Bit. You saw the full bit, not just the Twitter bit, yes. but the full thing in which I yeah, was constructing your, your a rule utility. Yeah, your logical was that uh -huh. there can be some situations where an adult and a child can have a positive outcomes. You didn't say... Anyway, it's, it's in, totally so immaterial. Just, well, no, it's, it's, it's important. So in a consequentialist sense, you can easily construct a situation where essentially anything is fine. Can, here, I'll ask you. Just follow through with me 30 seconds. Well, I don't, done. I, I'm not an idealist. I'm not going to talk about hypotheticals that don't have any bearing on material reality. That is... Wait, wait, hold on. Be, wait, hold on. I, wait, hold that. on. Wait, wait, wait. Mar first of all, with you, we're not, not talking about hypothetical situations wait. where adults can molest we're... children and it has a positive outcome. You're, You're the one talk talking. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. First of all, Marx was a philosopher. It's not idealism. Wait, no, hold on. Wait, you can't, you can't move away from this. Okay, hold on. I'm not letting you paint me like this and then run the fuck away. Wait, hold on. Wait, you just, you have to stop talking for one second. Okay, hold on. So imagine, all right, imagine aliens come down to earth oh, and they say this is absolutely ridiculous vosh you you've lasted six seconds so Imagine far, okay? aliens. this is as hypothetical idealism as you can get you're totally, you're like you're literally dis like you're you're off. like a honeymoon you're virgin like you gotta terrible. last longer than six seconds just give me a second okay i let you did i not let you talk for a long time when you were establishing your premises come on i'm not going to talk about hypotheticals with you, you don't have to then you don't then you don't have to talk you just have to listen you just have to listen okay now, you can imagine a situation in which aliens come down to Earth and they say, we're going to blow up the whole planet unless you kill this innocent kid. Now, in a consequentialist sense, <laughs> killing that innocent kid. Right, I know, right? So follow through, follow through. So in a consequentialist, okay. in a, so in a consequentialist, I know, an inability to grasp philosophy is one of my biggest issues with Luna. It makes sense it's that it would apply to both of you. This is, that's it's not idealism. what I, this philosophy and idealism aren't the same thing. Those don't mean the same thing. You can Wikipedia no, you're, them. No, you're, you're basing, your, you're constructing hypothetical situations that have no bearing Hypotheticals in aren't, I, wait, do you think an idealism is when you construct a hypothetical? Do you think those mean the same thing? You're going to lecture me on dialectical materialism. There's no and you're point struggling in having this. this discussion. Is my point. Can you answer that question? Do you think idealism means when you construct a hypothetical? Have you read you Capital? It's full of hypotheticals. That has nothing to do with reality, and you think that that gets you closer to the truth. That is idealism because you are finding you are making I... the ideal conscious processes of thought your basis for truth idealism is and not I'm would you materialist and my basis i see for finding truth i see the issue the you think idealism is when you think which is why you don't listen no. if you read if you read oh, das kapital okay no, you'll actually find hypotheticals they're actually kind of ubiquitous um look anyway in they're that grounded in reality though they're grounded in actual things that happen so just let's so finish the point we can move on way. if you let me talk for 10 seconds okay so in that situation you could argue consequentially that the outcomes would be good to murder that innocent child because the earth doesn't get blown up then 
because the Twitter bit cuts me off literally mid-sentence, you follow on from that point to talk about how a rule utilitarian could have a categorical opposition to the murder of children in spite of that. The whole argument was one against the predation of children, but far-right people like to clip me out of context because it's easier than debunking me. That's it. That was it. Okay. All right. That is idealism, though. <laughs> That's not what <laughs> okay. idealism means. I, I really want um, Vosh to, oh. to, when he keeps saying that, oh, this is impossible, we need billions of dollars, Look, there's all kinds of moderation that's currently used to ban all types of speech online. And Twitter and YouTube and Facebook, they have no problem with heavily moderating the content that is posted. And we're not even talking about videos. Anything that is put online that is objectionable, contrary to their TOS, gets taken down within minutes. That's uh, so, this is, so this is something that is not difficult to do with technology and especially with artificial intelligence, but you seem to have this right. kind of fallacy that it's either everything completely or it's nothing. You're why can't there be, why can't there be, why can't there be a, a middle line? But you're, you're denying that it's even possible. Wait, where's the, wait, no, I asked you where the line was and you didn't give me one. If you want to give me a midline, if you, if I think it's impossible, then correct me. Where would you draw the line of pornography? No, when it comes to the technological ability to to limit it, you're saying that it's impossible to technologically prevent all forms of pornography from the internet. Therefore, nothing can be done. But this is a fallacy. Okay, fine. Maybe 100% it can't be moderated. But what about 50%? What we about could, 70%? I, you could curtail moderated. it. You could curtail it. But I don't think you could keep it yeah. out of the hands of people who want to see it. I know that because there are plenty of reports on countries that have banned pornography, like Iran, that's, st that's still like all the dudes there look at porn, like all that's the time. That's fine. You can curtail it. That's the only point that you, I'm making that you're conceding to. But it you doesn't, but it doesn't it. change the outcome if they all can it look does. at pornography if you can, anyway. If you curtail it, you are reducing the amount of usage. Just like so, deplatforming. Do you think so deplatforming so, works? Do you think so, deplatforming works? That's terms of service not about the first no, amendment i'm okay with twitter banning works? people not with the state arresting you for looking at titties if twitter so do you wants think to that, not do you show think titties twitter that's banning twitter banning the extreme right won't that just mean that the extreme right can find other ways okay to wait hold on I'm, tr I'm trying to be civil but you're actually okay it is i'm not trying to trigger you this is right, a wait you're example. not wait you are triggering me because i'm allergic to retards okay hold on for a second the idea that there is any parallel between the state criminalizing all forms of pornographic nudity across the entire internet in a world where the internet servers are hosted broadly, that that has any bearing on Twitter TOS is insane. There is no comparison between these things. And I know, and by the way, I just want to point out, I said this at the beginning, okay? <laughs> you don't actually care about the effects pornography has in society. You're religious. I do. Your opposition, no, I do. no your opposition is principle. If no, I could find a bunch of studies, stop. But it's also based on My, so, society no, no, no. and effects it's, on society. Let's it's bring it into 60 seconds. It's ahead, principle Bosch. first. If there were studies indicating, for example, that uh, the presence of gay people doesn't detriment uh, like society in any way, you would still be homophobic. And I've seen your site. I know you are. You're not evidence driven, which is why you abuse evidence when you attempt to use it. Porn is not, porn is not harmful for none. the vast One majority second. of people. You've seen, Wait, what citations have you made here? Porn is not harmful out? for the vast majority of people who consume it. Plenty of people have harmful relationships with stuff that you see all around the world, like video games or food. We have studies <laughs> on the effects these things have on the brain. Your argument earlier was essentially one that indicated we should just ban the entire internet. The way we form these relationships online, like parasocial relationships with streamers, these do contribute to loneliness. You want to ban streaming? Should we just ban the entire internet? Should we go back to eating nothing more than grain and vegetables? If you want to make the argument that the fruits of modernity can lead people towards unhealthy relationships, with media and with products, I agree. But I don't think humans are children. I think that we're capable of making decisions for ourselves, and the data backs me. Because prohibition don't work. And it has time. never led to positive outcomes. Go listen to Russell Brand. I don't know. Go on, please. Ru just... Russell Brand's a fascist. Why would I listen to him? <laughs> You're so funny. Go on, please. This is uh, just uh, another testament to chat. If ever you see me contrasted against those who disagree, know that this is what I'm dealing with. Yeah, okay. So Russell Brand is a I want to put that. Yeah, he, he literally, like literally two days ago, he was promoting Ron DeSantis uh, and his presidency. 
He's a fascist because he promotes Ron DeSantis. Uh, well, actually, yes, I do actually. Th um, oh, the you think he's a fascist because he promotes fascist president? Yes, actually, I think that's You've a never promoted anyone like Hillary or someone who may be a warmonger. What? I'm what are you? No, stop. You did it again. No, no, no. Nice try. You're not distracting me again. Um, uh, uh, okay, moving on. Move on, please. All right. 2011, NATO leads Ukraine in the, quote, world's largest demilitarization project to destroy its own defensive stocks and capabilities. This is a big NATO L. Well, the, the stuff they were destroying was like old Soviet shit. Um, but like, oh, nice. yeah, we should have given Ukraine more nukes. Uh, all right. 2012, uh, Yanukovych. Wait, just, just pause for a second. NATO disarming Ukraine and ridding it of its defensive weapons as Yanukovych is trying to end the association with NATO. You don't see anything suspicious about that and then presenting themselves as the protector. Nothing suspicious at all. This is just normal, right? What do you, uh, wait, you what do you, what do you, wait, what do you, alliance, wait, what do you, wait, 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 shh. What are yeah. you talking about? Remove the country's own defensive weapons and then and nukes and then present yourself as the protector of Ukraine that was looking to get rid of these stocks and NATO offered to help because NATO has specialists. The in... difference is you think Yushchenko is Ukraine. I am. The what state. are you talking about? Uh, do you have polling data? On... Wait, do Ukraine. you have polling data on the people in Ukraine's opinions on the disarmament of old weapon stocks that were do dangerous? And good... so, stop, 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 stop. No, yeah. you're doing it again. This is what I mean. Yeah. You're no, this is what I mean. Your brain is mush. These there were dangerous be. old munitions that weren't fit for use in combat. They they were being destroyed because they were dangerous. You couldn't load these into a gun and just use them. They're rusted. They're unreliable. They Somehow asked for help. No, 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 stop. They asked for help in order to destroy them okay. because you can't Who just like they? throw them Answer in the trash. Who is they? Who specifically asked for help? The leader of Ukraine. That's the problem. So, That's stop. So, problem. again, no, stop, stop, stop. Again, you can't keep saying, um, yeah, isn't that fishy? them having a government every country has a government every okay, one of them for minutes can i just say something for 10 seconds no no every time you say something it's stupider than the last thing you said Stop. you're you're Stop. literally like uh isn't it suspicious how speak. ukraine a has a system where their leaders monologue. make decisions hey how about Stop. this hey do you wait you want to hear wait you want a real brain puzzler okay aren't no, the people of ukraine consenting to living under a governmental structure by voting for its leaders Yes, they are. Oh, then, then aren't you arguing against what Ukrainian people want I'm by arguing against what their state I'm, wants? I'm not a revolutionary socialist. I want gradual uh, changes. You want, no, 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 you don't want anything. You have no actual beliefs. You're incoherent. Where is the harm? Like, like how? Like, because you do need to convince me. Even on the NoFap forums, they're telling themselves stories about well, what how- is, What is NoFap for? What, what were they involved in? What were these guys involved in when they're watching pornography? Jerking off, I imagine. And, and that's immoral. How is jerking off immoral? Do you have any sense of what morality is? I, I mean, can you well, give, if you can, did, then you would be able to answer me. I will answer you, okay? There's hu human sexuality is something that the human being has to regulate according to reason. Okay, he's okay. not like a salmon where uh, uh, electrical chemical reactions go off and he turns around and swims upstream. He has to sub subject human sexuality to reason, to rationality. What reason? Okay. Well, the, well, the rationality is I want to jerk off and then you jerk off. I think that's perfectly in line with the mechanisms, the faculties of reason given to me by God. I know you do. I know you do. And that's why I say your mind is darkened. Of course well, you do. What, isn't that of rational? Of course you do. No, it's not rational. Give the it's rational, rational argument for the well. Give the rational argument for the opposite. Why shouldn't I jerk okay. off? Okay, okay. Because human sexuality has an end. Uh, you probably don't know this, but it actually leads to procreation, to the creation of other human beings. I can come and multiple so, times. It does, I, I'm not like done after one. Like next week, if I'm with like a girl, I'll still be able to. It's I'm not in any way impeding the process. No, you are impeding the process because you're acting in a way that is contrary to the rationality of the sexual act. Sexual oh. act is geared toward procreation. The sexual act is geared toward interaction with the opposite sex toward procreation. Okay, Why? If, procre if procreation takes place, 
if procreation takes place, a child comes out of that union, and that child needs to be taken care of. So uh -huh. this has to, the rationality of the sexual act, first of all, explains what its goal is, namely the unity of man and woman leading to procreation. Why is and that then the goal? The, and then, and then what after What if I just that, want to jerk off? Like you keep saying you want, things you, are clear, things because they're things. It's clear that not things. only is it you want to jerk off, but you, uh, it's clear. It's clear that that's you know, the way you see if sexuality. If you jerk off, you can come without making a baby. And babies are really expensive and time consuming. So like, I feel like the ratio that like you should like a hundred jerk offs to one baby. They even that's, I think, too low. Um, but like, again, you keep saying like things are bad because they're bad. Why? What's wrong with what if you just want to spend your whole life jerking off? Like what? Like what? Then what if you, a person's like, will, this is what I want? You will frustrate the purpose of sexuality, and you're what doing purpose? what you're what you're doing is exactly the trap that your generation fell into. You, you know, you're humans all, weren't born with clothes sitting. on them. Just to, just to be sure that there's no interruption, what I'm going to do is uh, just to answer that question. We're going to give you two minutes to respond, Director Jones, and then we'll come back to you, Bosch, for two minutes as well. And we're just going to yeah, flip look, up. We're, we're really we're really going to have to stop this constant interruption, and and. Uh, uh, and so uh, what I'm trying to say here is that uh, the, the end of sexuality is union with a member of the opposite sex leading to procreation. That's obvious from the act. That's uh. what the act is. That's what the act does. You can pervert that act, okay, but then you're not acting rationally and you're not going to end up with the, the end that the act has to achieve. Uh, if yeah, if we're following through, the purpose of hearing is to listen to people near you, so headphones are a corruption of that rational process. Your skin clothes you, so wearing clothes is a corruption no, of that. Well, hold on, Mr. Jones, is a corruption of that natural process. I have no doubt at your ripe old age that you've benefited from some matter of medical technology, which is, again, a corruption of humans' natural process. See, if we want to do this, if we want to go back to natural processes, I would be the young, strong hunter-gatherer, and you would be dead because you're twice my age. We both rely on deviations from humans' natural role in the civilization. You don't even have to deviate. I'm pretty sure there are animals other than humans who masturbate. So I just need to know, like, why? You say, you always refer to some nebulous purpose. I'm not religious, you know, though I seem to have read no. the Bible more than you. What harm is done if you jerk off? If anything, it helps you because it lowers your risk of prostate cancer. And if you nut somebody later, you have fresh sperm. Uh, so, I, I mean, aren't you, it's like clearing the gutters, right? I mean, it's just, where is the harm? I need to know. Yes, I've said this at the very beginning. An entire generation has been sidelined by masturbation and pornography because they can't relate to the opposite sex and they are not getting married, they are not forming families, and they are not having children. There's the harm. And by the way, uh, ear sets help your hearing. They don't inhibit your hearing. Jerking off helps my dick. And your prostate. That's medical science, by the way. People have been getting less prostate cancer lately because masturbation is getting more common. Probably because of porn. So, if anything, we're saving lives, really. So, look, I've interviewed Chomsky. I've interviewed David Harvey just recently and a few other people. They all agree with what I'm saying. A lot of the Pope agrees with what I'm saying. Most of India, China, the global south. The Pope is in favor of, of um, uh, Russia invading the, Ukraine? The Pope said that it was NATO's fault that Russia invaded. Do you, do you take his advice on all issues, like vis-a-vis -vis raping children? Do you think that he's a good like political and moral guide to all issues? No, but when Tulsi Gabbard and Noam Chomsky and the Pope and hundreds of other leaders agree, and everyone agrees except oh. the NATO countries... Well, not, not Ukrainians. Sorry, I just listen to the people. You're listening to leaders like the Pope, and I think that's rather no. oligarchical of you. Uh, I'm listening to the good, too. honest proletariat uh, over in Ukraine. So let me ask you, what about the good, honest proletariat outside of the NATO bubble? Do you listen to them at all? Ukraine isn't in NATO. I'm not saying that. I'm saying when you poll people in India, for example, the majority blame NATO before they blame Russia. The majority, the and UN that's a billion vote, people. The UN vote, uh, which condemned the, uh, which was on the, uh, the resolution to condemn Russia for the invasion of Ukraine, had a um, vast majority of countries side to condemn. Yeah, I know this is your gimmick, but I'll tell you there was a more recent U UN vote so, to like, condemn you, even if, more if, like, overwhelmingly a, a guy, the United States embargo on Cuba, and we don't if, give a shit. If a guy in you, India... You can't prove that. You can't use that to prove. Look, If a guy UN, in India said that he thought that um, 
Not a guy. Uh, Muslims were subhuman. Wait, wait, shut, shut, wait, shut up. Um, if you, if a guy in India was like, I think Muslims are subhuman, do you think he'd be right to say that? No, but the population, you need to deal with what the population. Yeah, the population believes. of India doesn't have strong positive opinions on Muslims. The public. The, pub yeah, the public in India doesn't have, so do you think Islamophobia is good? I just said the public always, the three words I said. So the public always has people like yourself. That's not three words. Who can be easily So wait, I, wait, wait, answer. Wait, 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 you're not answering. Wait, don't, don't make me do the thing again. Which thing? There's so many things. Yeah, there are so many things, but they come back to repeating patterns, which we can identify and hopefully prevent in you the future. You don't criticize the So hold on, I want enough. an answer. Would an Indian person be correct if they were Islamophobic? If, if by Islamophobic literally means afraid of Muslims, I mean, Muslims did kill them about 60 years oh ago. Oh my God, dude. We also killed Muslims. Wow, your brain is actual soup. You don't have like an overriding ideology besides contrarianism. Your question. You don't just don't so, like you're, so wait, hold on. So if you, so you think that bigotry against Muslims is okay because they're bigoted against Muslims? What's the... The word okay is this first world thing. Jesus Dude, Christ. Oh, man. Wait, okay. We people. can, we can, I guess we can like stop pretending to take this even remotely seriously. This is, you're saying that like a, the way to go is by being empirically correct and using our correctness in order to narrativize this and push it upon people. And whether or not you, I don't even give a shit if you agree with the term. It's what's happening. There is a more progressive perspective on gender that is different than the perspective on gender and sex that existed 10 or 20 years ago. And regardless of whether or not you think it's correct, it is being hegemonically enforced through culture. Okay? This is just a descriptive. I'm not saying whether or not it's good or bad. I'm just saying that it's happening. Hold what, on. No. What though? I'm that trans One people second. exist? Well, no, I just want to know what... Gosh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What I would say okay. 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 is that in order to be effective with your counter-propaganda, rather than saying... Fuck you, you're wrong, we're right, flying spaghetti monster, evangelical Christianity is fucking cringe, go eat a bag of dicks, you chud stupid fucks. I would say that exact attitude is responsible for fueling of reactionary tendencies on the right, and if you wanted to temper them and have them actually consider the humanity of their opponents, then you should appeal along liberal lines. And when you're talking about the great revolution, fuck no, I'm still fucking talking. Yeah, sure. Okay. Then, then you should see your, then you should see yourself as a cohesive whole. Okay. You're the fucking progressive lunatic. Who's going to come on with a fucking hard goddamn perspective. And you're going to tell motherfuckers how it is. And here's all the empirical evidence. And anybody who doesn't like me is a fucking chud piece of shit. And then fucking conservatives are going to say, Fuck you, you're wrong, God said a different fucking thing, you're a piece of shit and I hope you burn in hell and die. And then there's liberals, or fucking centrists, who have to try to get the two sides to fucking talk in a way in which we can live in the same society without fucking killing each other. What I don't like about your narrative fucking structure is I think that while it might be socially fucking necessary, if you were left to your own devices, you would literally create a society so fucking divided that literally it's gonna start a shooting war. That's the fucking way I feel about leftists, and that's the way I feel about fucking chud, fucking conservative dumb fucks. Okay, can I can I respond to this? First of all, it's sure, disgusting. We got it. We got it. I know up because it's we've disgusting been going on of this you. Too long. It's disgusting of you to equate like the radicalism of people fighting for the right to exist and the radicalism of people fighting to deny others the right to exist. Like the chud do you, fucks. Do you think that no, most stop, conservatives stop. are trying to deny people's no, right to no, exist? No, hold on. Count. You just said shooting war. Okay, so this is a war in your hypothetical between people defending the right to exist themselves and people trying to deny others their right to exist. This has happened before. I think it's more going to be the communism that starts Honor. it, but yeah. Yeah. There's no communism in the U.S., okay? In the room with us? No. Connor, we've done this before in the 1980s where the Reagan admin allowed hundreds of thousands of gay people to die deliberately by telling the CDC to not do proper research. We've done this during the civil rights movement where MLK died a martyr and reviled by the majority of Americans. We did this during the slave days. The idea that appealing to the humanity, like, oh, you know, uh, the South, hey, maybe you should consider that black people are humans. What happened? Oh, the civil, the civil war. Um, hey, what happened during the Civil Rights Act? Like, oh, we should consider black people are humans. That is good and it worked. But if you take a look at like percentages of people who like felt positively and progressively about black people, that shit skyrocketed after the Civil Rights Bill, not during the protests, because the arguments are less important than the social normalization.
peace, but people with these positions like anti-trans don't arrive at them logically. It's through fear and disgust. And you can't rationalize people out of those reliably. <clears throat> Sometimes you can. It's not impossible. And I try Gosh. to on my platform, no. but you can't do it consistently. And what you need to do politically is understand that these phony deferences to liberal civility are nothing more than a weapon that the right uses to silence and weaken progressive groups. They have been wrong every time. Every time so it has been So will you just admit that loud... you're pushing your agenda no. then? No. Yes! No. But in the... Fix wait. Don't even... But I, you wait, go. wait hold on. Goddamn... Wait, Connor. Like, Connor. Uh, whatever whatever every... either you were going to say at this point, I just don't care. Every and I don't think anyone else does. Pushes and I, have, and, I, and I don't care anymore. Wait, me or him? I don't care. Everyone. We're moving on to the next topic. Are we this doing going conclusions? On long. I don't want to cut you off, but I would argue that this is just the beginning of some larger... This is a huge problem because it's going to be the end of women's sports. And I also see what... Look at what's happening in prisons. Look at what's happening... What's happening in, in prisons. Where people, where people are being housed in, say, hospitals. And they're being women are now vulnerable to sexual assault as Wait. a result of this because people are self-identifying. Where's the evidence women. of that happening? Uh, of the hospital in the UK, there was a case of a woman who was on a women's ward, and she reported a rape. And they said, "Oh, that didn't happen because there are only women on this ward." And then they went back and they actually found through security footage that there was actually a trans woman staying on the ward during that time. And so this woman had indeed been allegedly raped and so i'm not saying that a trans women a... are predators well but this is this is something that also, we're seeing this much more is going to be much more common well with respect absolutely not not with, of trans women but of men of men abusing the ability to identify as women this is, to get this access is to fear mongering victims. and this is one of the issues that i take with you you talk about science i ask you where's the evidence you give me an anecdote where's the evidence of this well what, it will what was the anecdote though that one this is, instance this was of reported the, in the news. This was reported in, rape, in the news. Rapes happen everywhere. One instance is not an evidence of, of a pattern. And by the way, England up until recently had a very prejudiced law where rape could only happen uh, through penetration. Um, nothing else was counted rape. You know, so if you're a man, you know, you, you rape a woman, that can be counted. But there are cis women who have raped cis women in England, and it wasn't counted as rape because none of the available equipment was present. Um, the idea right, well, that I believe I, I don't want to interrupt you, but I, mm -hmm. I see we're coming so close on time and if there's so many things for us to talk about. So I, can I just say that I think that say with prisons, especially this is happening. It's what it happened in England. It's happening in Scotland. It's happening in California. I'll tell you this much. We don't have evidence that letting trans women into cis women's prisons will increase sexual assault. To my knowledge, there's no evidence of that upticking in an actual, like, here's a percentage, then here's a change percentage sense. We do know that trans women who go to men's prison are like nine times as likely to be raped. So purely from a harm reduction perspective, and this goes the same with the bathrooms and the hospitals and what have you, putting trans women in the same spaces as men is demonstrably dangerous whereas putting them in the same spaces as women is circumstantially dangerous so far, only looking at given accounts or one specific bit or another. U.S. is interested in enhancing and, and expanding its, its military economic uh, yeah, hegemony. That's all countries and ever do. Yeah. virtue flows from that is just incidental. Yeah. yeah. I've, been, I've been fully forthcoming okay. about that. Yes, I absolutely. Mean, that, that underscores then that we've all been massively deceived because <laughs> almost this is how countries is, work michael it's, it's michael that's the, you, why, michael. why the us must be involved in ukraine it's always in these moral terms about defending democracy yes. and so forth yes welcome so, to the world yes about the real rationale for welcome the US government to the is world intervening? people moralize politics welcome welcome to right. birth welcome to the outside so of the so cervix so in which you were told misled about why the u.s is intervening in the conflict well i in don't terms of how government officials are pre pre presenting it okay I, do, oh, I don't. I don't understand how to respond to the the realization you're having now that the realization. The I'm media will moralize position. geopolitical behavior from countries. I, I, I'm far from. You know, you're you you've posited this existence of like moral goodness in terms of the virtue of the Ukraine, you know, militarily prevailing. It just happens to align in this particular circumstance with the United States, which in every other circumstance 
is motivated by raw expansion of power. No, in uh, every so, circumstance, you know, if, if they're that's motivated the by motivation, that. Then it has Joe Biden and Nancy Pelosi and everybody else who's been hectoring the public as to why this interventionist policy is so necessary. Have they all been misleading us because they put it almost universally in fully moralizing terms? Is their okay. moralizing just false? Is it deception? What you're I'm talking you. about right now, and again, moving away from the point as you are so one to do, what you're talking about right now is the literal concept of politics a lie engaged in equally by people regardless of political affiliation? I don't know why you're asking me to defend this. You might as well be okay, asking me to defend the rain. I have no idea why. Like, you, like for instance, true, like, wait, 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 Michael, 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 can you please, we only talk yeah. so often, stop wasting both of our times with this, like, do you think it's dishonest of politicians to give the people reasons well, why they're doing things you. that aren't the I reasons they really believe? I asked you a much more specific question. I asked you a much more specific yeah, question Michael, than that. I'm asking you if the public that is directly what you asked me. I'm talking about parents dragging their kids to drag shows without their consent when they don't want to go and look at women or adding, men, whatever you want to call it, drag queens, dancing in a sexualized manner. That's where I have an issue with adding, it. Not all, just walking down the street or CVS and seeing the androgynous all cashier. Drag I don't is, think that has the same effect. All drag is is gender nonconformity on a stage with presumably bright colors that tends to be involved. The sexual stuff you're adding is optional. The tipping is optional. The kids being there is optional. The sexual dancing is optional. Drag fundamentally <laughs> is only gender nonconformity as a presentation. So when you talk about, so the reason I'm trying to isolate the variables here is because your argument that it is sexual confusion inducing and thus tantamount to molestation for a kid to get confused about the sex of the person they're looking at, that can happen anywhere. It's not a drag specific thing. And since drag is nothing more than flamboyant gender nonconformity, you're essentially just attacking the most ostentatious example of what you think the real issue is, which is no, any the real issue behavior. is drag shows. The, the issue real issue is drag shows, the not issue, seeing androgynous people at the grocery You said it was store. molestation. To, to go to a drag show where they did not choose and to see people that sashay on a, on a dance floor and for them to tip them like as if they were right. at a strip club. That's where I have a problem. I don't care if they're at the grocery store and they see an androgynous person. That does what, not wait, have the why, same wait, effect. Why not? So let's say, so hold on. Because let it's me, not done in a sexual manner. Wait, it's hold not on. done let me, without their choice. Let me, put, let me put you in my shoes, okay? If, if, uh, if we could, okay? There I am, a strapping young lad of 10. I'm quite tall. Um, back at that age, you know, big, big lad. Um, and uh, I'm going to the grocery store with my mom, of course. I'm not going there on my own. And I see a person there. I see them from behind, all right? They're wearing um, yoga pants and a um, crop top t-shirt uh, that exposes maybe four or five inches of their stomach. And from behind, they're very hot. They have long, straight black hair, you know, very attractive. Now, I'm a strapping young kid of 10, all right? All right, I'm very attracted to this fat ass that I'm looking at. Um, but later, it turns out, as this person turns around in a situation that I did not consent to be in, I did not want to go grocery shopping, this was a guy. They were just a guy, just a, a feminine guy wearing, you know, all this. Now, in that moment, I did experience, because I didn't realize I liked the men at the time yet, I did experience a kind of, ugh, as I realized, like, I was into this person who I thought was a woman. Bam! That, well, Vosh, that's my, that's my whole entire point, is that realization that you had was a little confusing. Would you, would you agree that it was a little confusing? So you would agree this isn't about drag, it's about no, it is about gender drag. I think it's the drag in the world. No, well, no, no, you, di you just the did. Drag is where they're exposed to it. I'm just saying that is where they're more likely to have that sexual confusion. It's more likely to happen at a drag show that their parents drag them but to. The that is, has a sexual connotation than just going to argument, CVS or going to Ralph's. The logical extension of your argument would apply. I'm not to talking what about I logical extensions. I'm talking. I about know you're not, drag Alex. Shows. I'm, fully I'm talking aware. about drag shows. I know we don't but... want to talk about logic here. We just want to talk about drag shows. Earn my fucking so, vote. Again, and stop it... with the fairy time bullshit. If all it's of these people somehow magically, Wait, magically coordinated, if some, if, if some, so, listen, in, listen, it, over, over here in reality, well, if some of these people all magically coordinated, if some of these people all magically, destroyed? if some of these people all magically coordinated and they all magically? decided Why on a single, on a single wedge Merlin issue, a magic wand over if this they shit? all decided on a single wedge issue to shift what? their vote, for, on yeah. one wedge issue to another candidate who would have to be several. developed and organized and funded and promoted entirely on this wedge issue, they would then have to have more people voting for them than the entire unified Republican Party. 
Ergo, what you're talking about has never happened, cannot happen. You are talking about fantasy bullshit. So you're happen. not wait. happy with how tedious wait, reality it, it is. Happens you every you are cycle. not. Political you are not are made. brave Why do you think for throwing up your arms in the, in the air. Hopes of getting people you to vote are for them. not brave for throwing your arms up in the air, ignoring reality, and only saying you'll lift a finger off or, or, or lift your ass off the seat if some implausibly impractical, historically like unprecedented shit happens would not, that no political would analyst me. would ever say would happen, but you're like, only for this will I, fucking politics king, get out of my seat and do shit. You're not special. And no, you are. You're special in a class sense. You're more privileged than the people liable to suffer. If this country goes under, I can leave. I'm rich. But there are millions of people in this country who not only don't have that privilege, but they work tirelessly to put the effort in where you think there's no point. Your day it, for work is not is at the election booth. Your day for work is, is four years for a before. Politician to have to earn the vote of a voter. That's you, not unprecedented. That's you literally politics whining that you're not being catered to. You have it better than 90% of the people on this planet. We're not talking about me personally being catered to. We're talking about the huge block of people who oppose the genocide yeah. going on in the Gaza Strip and, to be heard. And they're doing saying, yes, and they're doing work. And their lives the their lives will not get any easier if they just they don't will participate. If How those politicians have to spin on that issue to ch uh, to change on that issue in order to secure those votes. You're just speaking Which, for them you're that, you're, you're privileged you're privileged and arrogant and you're angry and you're using them as a shield Trump you're using them as a shield so of course these people would have a huger incentive than ever to you're want hiding to behind them the math doesn't change. The math doesn't change math for you change. or That's for right. me. Democrats for nobody. can't win if unless you people who are against want, the genocide still vote for them. If you want the world to get better, you do the work between the elections, and during the election, you make the best choice, and then you get your ass back to work. You, like me, spend a lot of our time whining online. That's our jobs. But the difference between you and me is that I don't think I'm special for my abstentiousness from the process that other people have lived and died and bled for, trying to build a world comfortable enough that we could be dipshits in a computer chair. You can do the work. You have to do the work. You do not have a right to complain and pretend that you are smarter for keeping your hands off the work. And said, you know, announced that apparently uh, Ukraine has been admitted to NATO as a quote de facto member. He said. Now that wasn't elaborated on. I don't know what that actually entails in terms of security guarantees anything. or what have you. Oh, so okay, so he was just lying, or he was just you know yeah, making he, stuff yes. up. Okay. He just, yeah, he just said stuff. No, I, I miss, no, no, no difference between you and I so, is like when government so officials like charge of So wait, you realize de facto? Stuff, I actually you know take it seriously and scrutinize so, it and try Michael, to evaluate it. Michael, than first just of to all, see it Michael. Yeah. First of all, de facto NATO doesn't mean anything. It's a treaty. It's an I'm article really you have to join. I would love him to elaborate. I would love someone to elaborate. Joe Biden, Jen Stoltenberg, anybody. It's I mean, not complicated. If you followed any of this stuff, it'd be pretty self-evident. Oh, Second of all, maybe, Michael, hey, maybe you have encyclopedic Michael, knowledge that never, I can always aspire Michael, to. Michael, I can see uh, the tactic. I can see the tactic shifting with you. One quick question. I'm not shifting any tactics. Michael, I'm, I'm Michael, just engaging. Michael, with you. Yeah. do you yes. sleep with men? Sorry. Do you sleep with men? Do I sleep with men? I do. You can't if outsnark did, me. I mean, Stop trying. Are you, are you interested in Michael, sexual activity now? Maybe Marky, that even be a Michael, question? Mike, Mikhail, yeah. quit being a snarky I'm cunt. It's not going to work with me. Or not, by the way, so I'm not sure why you brought that up. But okay, go ahead. Because you're outmatched. You're doing this like, well, now I'm that it's been an hour and you've been called out for being a worm 50 <laughs> times, you're doing this like, um, well, I just remember well, this one thing this one guy said, and maybe you could explain to me. I of you sleeping with men in my head, which is not something I had been eager to, you know, think about. I didn't hear what you were saying. Anyway, uh, I think your tactic might have been to plant the image in my head of you sleeping with me, because that was not something I was eager to think about. Did but, it enter uh, your head that I'll easily? That's all it took? I had three more lineups before I figured there wasn't even a chance of that being in there. You can think about that if you want. You've been paying about that much attention to the conversation anyway. Fact of the matter is, as much as you want to run from it, as much as you want to cry about it, appeasement is not a historically effective strategy. It just isn't. Okay, it just genuinely right? doesn't seem to work. Countries that make up a bunch of shit as a pretext for invasion and then invade well, generally don't stop once they get one W. From... Well, Vosh, yes, people are forced to do something. Well, that's not consensual. I don't... Well, I'm sorry, but you can't do literally nothing.
Well, why not? Because you'd starve to death. What? Why? Because you're not collecting berries. You're not doing anything. There are other people collecting berries. Okay. And? So there are enough berries. Not necessarily. There are in what the world they, today. What if they berries. do nothing too? Well, what if nobody did anything? Yeah, that that's so, you you're that's you are approaching that extreme. That's what you're saying when somebody choosing to make a little extra money is compelled to or is, is you compare not it to a little extra money not working in the US means a life of desperation and poverty. It's not a superficial choice. Um, you, people choose a quantity of work. People they, you well, no again, I just this this is sort of like the I don't think you've interacted with reality thing. People are working multiple minimum wage gig jobs just in order to make rent, and they're making it with like 60% of their salary. The idea that people are choosing between a lifestyle of base comfort and cosmo cosmopolitan wealth based on how much they're willing to work is just not true. People are struggling to get by. The vast majority of people can't even afford a small emergency of a couple hundred dollars. In the wealthiest that's bullshit, country, and you know it, Vosh. That's not bullshit. It's literally true. You can Google how many Americans can afford a $400 emergency. Those, st you know, those stats you see on the internet, they are designed by marketing firms more than anything in order to give people Wait, you a false impression. Are you denying reality on this? Most people have more than $400 available in credit. They have in ways credits? in order to handle an emergency. Yes, Everyone, sure. That's not being able to afford a $400 emergency. That's indebting yourself with an emergency. Very different. They, they have the purchasing power. No, uh, no, come on. Oh my God, hold on. Are you like a grad student? What are you? You've never worked a job in your life. Yeah, I did. When? This year. The, Id the idea that, um, that, oh, you can afford an emergency, just take out more debt is such an incredibly ass-brained thing to say. And with what, they're not going to be able to pay that down. If they didn't have the money to pay for the emergency, why would they have the money to pay down the debt that will now accrue interest that they use to pay the emergency? Well, clearly, the reason that the bank gave them access to that debt is because they believe that this person has the ability to. They can make That's, changes to their lifestyle. That is, uh, you are so out of touch it the 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 idea that like in the email i i the, your framing was that i am like an out of touch socialist but then your argument to defeat her, the, the the defeater of like americans being able to afford emergency is okay well could they take out more debt for it this doesn't solve the economic problem i don't i think the problem ultimately is that if your understanding of these issues is determined entirely by this like hyper abstract disconnected from people's real experience um situation uh what's the point of even talking about it like what's your investment in these issues Fosh, i just um looked online for a little bit the median net worth is one hundred and twenty one thousand seven hundred and sixty dollars according to the federal reserve's 2019 survey of consumer finances mm -hmm. They have, pos they have, that's an enormous amount of value that they can tap into to pay for things. So you realize that that net worth would include their house and their car and their personal possessions, right? So you, wait, do you think net worth is the same as like having money in the bank? Yes. What was the job you worked this year? I worked at Amazon. What position? Fulfillment center associate. Okay. Did you work a job prior to that? Uh, yes. Did it, in any of these jobs, give you an understanding of what net worth means relative to liquid cash? Okay, let me, let me put it this way. I, I, if I a understand person, that there's If a, a person says, I can't afford to pay my rent, and your response is, sure you can. That furniture you're sitting on right now, you could sell that on the Facebook marketplace and pull together some money. Do you think that's like... Do you think that's an answer that meaningfully addresses the issue that person is having? Yes.
It could be a troll, but she could also be like hyper autistic. It's hard to tell. Where'd she go? She probably muted to laugh. That would be the troll answer. No, I'm silent because I'm waiting for a response from you. Well, there's not really a response. It's just a clown answer. So who are there among those others? Barack Obama. So Leo, what, Michael, what was the alternative? This has already been Obama answered. Michael, you're going in circles. You're delusional. No, you're insane. I, I'm actually just trying to apply a modicum of you're logic. You're gaslighting your, yourself. You're mad. Your, no, no, I'm not gaslighting you. You're like a I'm broken using record. Random buzzwords. We need a therapist yeah. in here. All no, this has been answered. So do you agree? So wait, let's can I wait, maybe I can get a yes no from you. This will be powerful stuff if I can. Do you agree that Putin annexed Crimea? Did that happen? Do I agree that Putin annexed Crimea? Yeah, of course. Putin okay. seized Crimea and incorporated, okay. into the run, incorporated into the Russian Federation. Okay. And at the time, you, did Putin, wait, oh, please, please, we're so close. At the time, yeah. did Putin indicate like, that's enough? Like, this is what I'm answering. At, in 2014, he wasn't saying like, yeah, I'm going to take the rest of Ukraine too. Like, he was just saying, I've annexed Crimea because the, the people here are ethnically um, more aligned with Russia and like I'm taking this territory. So at the time, that was perceived to be enough. It was framed as being enough for him. That was perceived to be enough. Perceived like, by who? I mean, what are you talking about? Michael, like, oh my God. Did, did, Michael, did Putin himself Putin's messaging. That Crimea was quote, enough for him? Is that what you're yes, asking me? His messaging in 2014 was, right? I've annexed Crimea and I'm done. This territory. Well, no, there, was a, there was a military operation, which you know was one of these very much smaller scale military operations in eastern Ukraine. After he denied. That. So, no, he I mean, denied. He didn't say that. Wait, wait. He wait. At the time, he was denying that those were his people. He was pretending that that was an authentic like, internally yeah. Ukrainian. That was one of the many times that governments engage in deception when they're okay, in war posture. So publicly, he right? was like, "Yeah, those people in the Donbass are totally independent separatists." And also, I annexed Crimea, but no more, right? Well, I, I actually, I mean, I have to double check this because, again, I'm going to wow. acknowledge if I'm not 100% certain of my recollection. I don't, I don't think, I don't think, uh, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I'm actually fascinated on who watches you on a regular basis. I mean, you're an interesting guy, but I know least a I watch somebody people. regularly and they just always interrupted within like 30 seconds i would find it a bit maddening so I i'm interrupting anyone. okay just, right, you're not you're not getting my goat on that just, one mr like, toxalot like you've screamed michael i don't know probably like 60 times over the course of trust me over like it was for minutes. your benefit so oh silly it's so silly to pretend these women are being godly give me a break they think they're god well but if they're... you um if you make the choice to take care of kids when you know it's going to be very difficult as a single mother I would say that's a fairly noble thing to do, wouldn't oh, you yes. say? So noble. They're getting subsidized like crazy, subsidized by the father and the government. Yes, yeah, single mothers are just resplendent with wealth, Hick. That they're, is how it works. They're spoiled. Uh, that's Indeed. why women are lining up to be single mothers these days. It's definitely yeah. something they actively fight for and not something that happens to them against their will. It happens to them. Yeah. Well, oh, they're these if poor they get... innocent victims. Why are uh, you being yeah. such a simp about this stuff? Well, this is the thing, and this is why I think it's funny that you pretend to be Christian. It's that um, you're decidedly less Christ-like than some of the more degenerate atheists that I've known in my day. It's not just that you don't, so it's you don't bad. feel love. Well, hold on. You don't feel love for others, so you reject God's love, and you assign that rejection to others, which is weird enough on its own. But you look at virtue and you call it sin. What are you but anti-Christ-like in doing so? Women who sacrifice portions of their life to take care of kids, knowing the odds are stacked against them, you look at them and sneer because you hold hate in your heart. No, you, are, you are someone who would be a better beneficiary of Reverend Jesse's teachings than almost any man I've ever spoken to. It's so obvious the way you deride those you speak of. I could never, it, never in my conversations, have I speak in, spoken of, of, of any group uh, who's, who's, for what, for raising children? With this you level just, of derision? You just falsely accuse men of abandoning the children. Many they men do so. The, they can't deal with the women. And the they can't deal is, with the hell of dealing with the woman and fighting with the woman over the children. I respect you're, you're, the men you, who no, do you, take care of the children. But and you, anyway, I was you not disrespect at, I was the women not who take care of the children. No, but there, there's nothing to respect there. Because they're not That's taking care of the children. Well, you, fine, but it's not, nothing to respect there. That's different from what love is. 
you don't have love when you're falsely worshiping these women as godly and stuff like that. I think it I is know you're being silly. To I know take... you're just being silly. No, I don't, I I'm not being silly at all. I just, it is Christ-like. Christ you have make... no clue what Christ even Hake. was about. Hake, yes. don't get upset like a woman would. Um, but you have no clue what Christ is about. A clear. I think I'm actually a little bit more familiar with Christian doctrine than you, it seems. Um, considering the stuff How that you so? said about love in this conversation is concerning, you know. It's interesting, your statement that love should not have to do with a marriage, um, that, that like, uh, you know, people, like, marry for sex and you hope the love develops of it, this is actually something closer to what I would expect, like, a cynic, like, Satanist type to say. Somebody <laughs> who would, like, sneer at the institution of marriage and go, you know, there's no love in that. Someone who rejects God's love. But you claim to champion it while making fun of women who take care of their children? It's, well, you know the Antichrist who will sell you every good thing is bad and bad thing is good, right? Are you an agent of his? Uh, no. I, I'm making fun more of your false worship Show of me these your hand, females. the back of your right hand, would you? Do you have the mark? <laughs> I want to know. You're laughing <laughs> you at women about? who take care of their children. But there are two states, the FBI, this. there are two states the FBI can exist in. Right L now. Let me ask you this. Wait, 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 please. There are only two states in which it can exist right now as represented by the interests of people currently in power. That's and not that true. Is, no, no, no. <laughs> that is. Wait, can you... Who is fronting a public, uh, 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 like, support for FBI reform? Nobody! That that's my power? point! Then, that's then my that's point! It. Then listen to Gosh, what I'm that's wait. the problem! That's wait, the very out, problem! So wait, so, so you're agreeing with me then? Based on who is currently in power, there are two possible things no. that we can do with the FBI. No, no I'm not no, agreeing please. with wait, you! Stop, wait, stop! You just I'm agreed with me. I'm you advocating... just agreed with me. No, you I'm just not. Agreed with me. No, you're I didn't. You're advocating for no, I didn't. changing that situation. No, I didn't. Exactly! You're advocating for I'm advocating right. for a so, third opportunity, so a third by, option. So in That's order my to get, job. So if to get that option, you have to change the current situation, that would imply that an unchanged situation, aka what we exist in now, is one with two options as represented by the interests of people. No, there, there is, there is, if, uh, by that definition, there's only one option because there was only one party advocating anything, which is Marjorie Taylor Greene. So by, by your, by your metric, there's the only one thing out there. As an option. Fine. So then that's it. We have so, that and we have this. No, Vash, this is so ridiculous. No, you can change wait a minute, it. You wait a minute, can wait get a three, but right now there are two. No. You agree with me. No. Right now there okay. are two. You can fight for Vash, three. Right. who cares? I am fighting for three, and you're convincing people to take one of two options because you're no, no, too no, no, afraid no, no, no. No, please, please, to advocate please. for anything in this there. world that's We're real. We're almost there. You are tying so option, You are tying option number three to the insane bad faith fascist. No, I'm Why? not. Why? No, no, no. No, please. I'm not. No, no, no. No, me, G, G. Okay, I'll explain Why? it to you. No, no, I'll explain no, 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 it to no, you please, real please, slow. Please. Let me answer your have, question. You just asked me Wait, wait, please. We have two institutional options right now, okay? We have two parties, if we may. We have the MAGA group and we have Democrats and moderates broadly. The MAGA group are composed entirely of fascists and people who want to abolish our democracy. And the moderate-leaning Republicans, the moderates and the Democrats are some neutral flavor of law and order to maybe mild reform of the police. Why would you hinge any reform of the FBI to the fascists and not to the legitimate concerns of people who are arguing against police brutality. If you wanted to reach out to people who want to reform the FBI, don't reach out to MAGA voters, reach out to liberals. They were the ones out there on the streets protesting against police brutality, ineffectively, I might add, because we live in a hell world. But if you're going to tie FBI reform to some kind of optical or political front or movement, why would you do it to the worst people with the worst intentions rather than the le not worst people with the not worst intentions this is the issue that I have. We, our power is in our voice. Our legitimacy conveys strength to broader public fronts. Marjorie Taylor Greene runs this train, not you. Where Donald Trump technically so does. She's the conductor. So you can use words like hinge and tie and do what you want. But I think most people and understand. And articles like and and two. Michael, yeah. in a battle between Russia and Ukraine, which Russia started, I don't believe it's escalation to allow Ukraine to defend itself. It's the same war with the same target, uh, Russia just wanted an easy win, which they couldn't secure. Right. Secondly, uh, I think that beating Russia back now is uh, better for reducing the likelihood of nuclear war. It is, of course, Russia that's threatening to end the world with nuclear war, not Ukraine and not the United States. Uh, Russia is the one that constantly threatens nuclear Armageddon all the time. And I don't think that we should appease them just because they happen to be okay. a nuclear state. Why? Because it was bad to appease Neville, Neville Chamberlain, right? Well, 
appeasement doesn't have a great track record historically because they tend to right. keep doing the same things after you, know, you give them what they first That's a very novel claimed. historical analogy. I hadn't thought of that one. I have to research it later. Michael, you're not in a position to be snarky. <sighs> historically, it's true. Appeasement does tend to not stop dictators. Okay. Got it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I agree. It was, would have been a horrible idea to like, quote-unquote appease Saddam Hussein instead of you know, launching an invasion do you, in 2003. Do you have a, wait. Do you wait? That has nothing to do with what we're talking about. We weren't even talking well, about appeasing you were Saddam Hussein. Appeasement. I mean, anybody who was against the invasion of Iraq in 2003 was denounced as an appeaser. So I'm just wondering what you know. Michael, I'm pretty, I'm Michael, not the same situations. But Michael, like, uh, engage like with the, what I've said the, rather than this. What about there really isn't any. Michael? You're you're falling lower than the comic book again. Talk I'm about what about I've about said. Isn't... So rather than pulling up, it back 20 years. France, whenever you want. That's not what about it, But I bring up something that happened in 2003 rather than 1944. It is true that uh, this has nothing to do with that because Saddam Hussein wasn't a nuclear well, power neither, and wasn't neither, threatening neither, to neither, 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 Michael, neither, neither, Michael, neither, neither, Michael, you're doing it again. You're trying to waste our time by pulling the topic away because you're slimy. Michael, Michael, quit, Michael, quit running. I talked about... Oh, I'm seated. I'm seated. I'm happy and I'm entertained. Michael, your hairline is yeah. already running. There's no reason to join it, okay? Listen, <laughs> you Putin got me. is threatening yeah, the nuclear war. Michael, physical Michael, physical Michael, physical. Michael yeah. Putin yeah. is threatening the nuclear war. I do not think that they are very rational when it comes to their nuclear threats. I do not think that giving them the W and allowing them to take over Ukraine or part of it would do very well to deter the country from further nuclear threats. I think the best okay. thing we can do is get rid of the actual thing that's instigating the nuclear threat, which is Putin. Putin's governance is the reason why Russia is a nuclear threat. And the best way okay. to take care of Putin is to make him so domestically unpopular that he's replaced by another oligarch, ideally Got one it. who doesn't constantly threaten to end the world. So, so, so you, you, you'd, you'd be happy to just continue what has been the policy now for eight months, just continue escalating in hopes that, I don't know, Putin is vaporized and then yeah, everybody can declare victory. I don't think we're escalating, kind of but I do, I do support continuing to support well, Ukraine. No, if, if nobody's escalated anything, I mean, how do we get to the point where Joe Biden's declaring that we're on the precipice of nuclear Armageddon? Is it just a because coincidence? Russia is escalating. They're the ones escalating the nuclear threats. And does are they escalating because of any reason having to do with the United States? Because they're losing the war just, they started. Or is the United States involvement in the war just coincidental and has nothing to do with their escalatory threats? Yeah, something tells me that a nation that's willing to threaten World War III and nuclear Armageddon because they're not getting their way in an unjustified fascist annexation of a neighbor is not a country that we can be relying on to stop that behavior after we've given them what they want. Sure, but with everything else I said building up to this about the, who's funding it and how the school boards don't really have power to enforce anything, I think that it's reasonable yeah, for... You shouldn't throw out teachers. Okay, that was the buildup. Oh, okay, but, but you, shouldn't, you shouldn't throw teachers out for saying stuff that doesn't, that isn't in the curriculum. Not, well, for saying this specific stuff, not anything in general. Like, uh, it's not just, oh, you have to you know, read from a script the entire school year. I mean, that's ridiculous, but it, you should, if you discuss issues that the people that are paying you to teach in like directly, pretty much, I mean, the taxpayers, the people of the district, they should be able to enforce the sort of things you can talk about because it's their dime. It's their government that no, they're electing it's public, to teach their children. It's public education. Should we not teach children about climate change? Or should we not teach them about education? Or should we not teach them about the civil rights movement? If our, if like the constituency suddenly becomes very anti-Semitic, should we just be like, ah, oh, of course, now teaching that the Holocaust was real will get you uh, charged with a felony? Like, wh why would we, why does empirical truth have to be subject to the biases and bigotries of like the dumb fucks who happen to pay their taxes? Well, I'd say that public education exists to serve the people who are paying for the public education. So you, so you would I be okay my... with the Holocaust teaching being fireable if America went anti-Semitic enough? That's talking about a dystopian reality. No, like, well, no, no, not... wait, you have to answer that. So based on your logic, that would be yes. You do believe that then. I mean, I actually have to think about that one. Really? But... You, you have to think I, about... I do, and here's why, because they're funding. It doesn't matter. 
like, no, the point of public education is to educate the public. Like, if you if you would, think like, oh, well, because the public is retarded, therefore we should teach the, the students retarded things. That's the opposite of would, the point. Can you yeah. imagine when public education started would, really becoming a thing back in the early uh, 1900s? Can you imagine if they had to teach students stuff in line with what their parents believed? Oh my God, it would all be like, yeah, sprinkle salt on the entrance to your, your hallway in order to prevent spirits from, like, it'd be insane. Like, we, like, no, the, the point here is to elevate people above the, the ignorance, not to wallow in it just because taxpayers are stupid. The only person who says, well, if you fear an Arab majority, you must think that the, it's okay that what you're doing is us. <laughs> Seriously, that is the main problem. You cannot hear criticism about what you're saying without going, well, why are you defending Israel? We're not. Israel, as I have said repeatedly, Israel does not need to commit actual uh, like camps and, uh, and tractors for mass graves genocide to do bad. I don't want the Palestinians to live under these conditions. Even if everything I say is true, that's not an excuse. I actually believe that there's a solution. Furthermore, I am telling you that there is a solution. And you know how I know this? Because it's already working. Nine times out of 10, most days, Palestine and Israel kind of coexist basically like in Belgium. And I know it sounds ridiculous to you. I don't know. But the degree of actual separation on a day-to-day -day level- They're between, not like, coexisting. Palestine, it's an apartheid state. No. Yes. Yes. The Israeli government sets up the blockades, denies the water rights, denies the political rights, denies the right to return. It's a, what you call what no what you call coexisting. You are you are literally like the South African Dutch genteel who sits on his plantation and says, "Oh well, the blacks keep to their own neighborhoods, and on most days we get along just fine." Like you are, you are, put, you are kicking your feet up and looking at injustice and saying, "Well, this injustice is peaceful." Works in a factory with a fairly large, substantial Palestinian workforce. Now you have black friends. I know. Listen, why? Why do you run from the fact that it's an apartheid state? It objectively is. It meets the definition. No, it. No, it. Objectively is an apartheid state. No, no, no. It is objectively. You can have. You can have citizens in an apartheid state. It is objectively an apartheid state. It's an inarguable. It fits the definition as clearly as anything does. It has. It is as much an apartheid state as the sun rises in the east. It's not something you can argue, but you are arguing it. We were talking about. We were talking about. Yeah, Whether or not it's good to support Ukraine defending itself against Russia. No, so I, I, I'm saying whether it's good or not, bad, as a socialist, to take the position of, hey, we should support a nation state. Uh, we should. Well, you realize you're supporting a nation state when you support like the one China principle, right? Like you are. No, parroting. that's not a nation state. China has 56 <laughs> recognized ethnicities. It's a multi-ethnic <laughs> state. It's a multi-ethnic, multinational <laughs> state by definition. You're this just fine. Well, you don't I, even earlier know. In the, wait, were you, were you here watching the stream when I said that people like you are more like solipsistic than Holocaust deniers? I appreciate oh. you coming on to support my talking point. Like, okay, in the moment. Okay, explain to me how China is a nation state. We, did, we already talked about this. We can't keep doing this, man. We can't, no, no, I don't have any skulls me. for you to measure. Why I don't... is Germany a nation state and why is China a nation they're state? Because a nation state is just a geopolitical block that we no, have. No, it's not. Oh, right? yeah. No, yeah, it is. Uh, well, this 19th century racist said actually okay, that a nation okay, state so, is when okay. people of the Let same a humor occupy this, a socialist example oh can you okay, find anything so, in marxist literature that describes a nation state as having a uni-ethnic component also how can america be a nation state if we have like a ton of ethnicities because it's based on race oh can you find that in the constitution no that's oh. why history is important my dude oh i see gotcha so that's why when, when we, when we, when we defer this when is, we defer to the constitution literally historical materialism we defer to the constitution wait can you define historical no we materialism? do not 
I'm not, first of all, I wasn't deferring to the Constitution. I was giving you, you evidence to, to why China. Yeah, I was giving you evidence to why China is not a nation state. So my evidence the same that way America when, when people call Taiwan, Taiwan an independent country, I'm explaining to you how their constitution still says the Republic of China and how their flag still has the KMT symbol on it. Okay, so America's constitution doesn't recognize any single ethnicity or race as the only holders of the country. Okay, so, so do you think America is a white supremacist country? Um, yeah. Okay, so, but that's not in the constitution. Yeah, it's almost like what the constitution says has very little to do with the ethnic convictions of the country itself. China, famous for never having any internal oh ethnic, God. religious, or racial problems. Uh, but if the constitution says that they're not racist, you, you, you know? I'm not saying the Constitution is saying it's not racist. I'm saying the found. Why did you just ask even, about racism in America then? I'm trying because your f***ing example is stupid, and I'm trying to explain to you how your f***ing example is stupid. Because I'm trying to say that <laughs> just China, any talking about like let's go okay, to the constitutions. Also, oh wait, that doesn't work to support my point. Never mind. Autonomous, autonomous. Let's go to material reality. Oh wait, material reality argues against my point. Never mind. Let's go to the next one. You know, like rapidly dropping and adopting. Or you know, things. you could. <sighs> okay, so in China, is it there are Jesus Christ, dude. If you're to look at if you're to look at what the average Yemeni thought about um, casual sex, being gay, being trans, um, just any number of things, even how you dress. In the United they... States today, the reactionary faction is the Republicans. You are not going to move me over by saying. Oh, ignore the hundred million Republicans in your own country. What if too many Yemenese people came in? <laughs> what a threat they would be. Funnily enough, Muslims in America actually tend to be more progressive than Christians in America. Yes, uh, yes Even though Muslims correct. abroad tend to be more reactionary. The reason for that is because Republicans are so unabashedly racist that they kind of force non-white, non-Christian groups into progressivism to, by proxy. Like, a lot of black people in America are socially reactionary, but Republicans are so racist that they have no choice but to vote blue. So, uh, I will never care about the reactionary foreigner, because throughout America's history, it has been the reactionary Republican, the person, the white man, the domestic man. They have been the threat to progressive values in this country. And if I wanted to break democracy to get rid of them, I would ban the Republicans, not Yemenese people. Sure, but... Once again, hypothetically, let's say we let in all of these people. We already have a hundred million of them. We don't need to. Huh? Well, hypothetically, what if the Yemenis? No, no. Right now, I'm telling oh, you, yeah. the Republicans already trip my flag for I basically don't think these people should be allowed to participate in democracy. We already have reached that no. point. I am not going to go, ah, yes, well, hypothetically, in an entirely different world, what if the Yemenis were the threat? You know, it's not going to happen. Okay, but well, I didn't get to finish. So, like, what I say? First of all, when it comes to Muslim people, I have Muslim friends. I know Muslims, stand up people, a lot of good people. Like, they're my friends. Um, they're they're def they definitely are, they don't want to harm anybody. They're not bad people. In fact, I would say that in comparison to most Americans, are probably far more honest and, and stand up. You know, willing to to protect and help others. Can we get to the point? This isn't. Me I don't consider yeah, these debates so, an intellectual so I, exercise. I think you're morally repugnant. I'm only here to discuss the ideas. Oh, I don't yeah, need yeah, the yeah. virtue signal on how, uh, yeah, you no, know. This isn't a well, virtue they're actually signal. very, no, well, they're all very good people. Signal. You're arguing in favor of ethno state logic. I know, I'm sure you know many good blacks. Please tell oh, me yeah. why you think it's acceptable to cripple a democracy by denying certain ethnic groups the right to participate in the democracy. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, sure. So um, the whole reason I brought them up is because if you have people that have a what we would consider here a morally repugnant belief, no matter, we don't even have these Muslims. It doesn't matter. Like, there are people that are incompatible with some fucking nation. They, I think you can all agree with that. And, I think so that Republicans that are incompatible point. with democracy. Well, I think I think Democrats are incompatible with democracy. Fact, That's because you're that, retarded. That is uh, so oh, wait, at any rate, wait, this, wait, this, ar way. wait, this argument. Oh. Wait, hold on. This <laughs> I'm trying to save us from wasting time. This argument has been addressed. Obviously, I will not support denying ethnic groups immigration or citizenship status for what they do to the democracy, because my country is already infested with people like you. 
So we have to move on to another point. This one has been addressed. You can hypothetical your Yemeni's immigration wave all you want. You know, they would probably be better than you. This is not a remote war torn area. People come and leave Gaza all the time. I'm not saying people don't come and leave Gaza, but movement is absolutely restricted. Yes, I'm not saying it's okay. Just to clarify, the only people who claim that it must be concentration camps and genocide for it to be wrong are American leftists. Seriously. None of us are defending Israel but telling you that Gaza is not a concentration camp. You are continuously defending Gaza. Under unfair political oppression, they're also not living in a concentration camp. Those two are not actually as exclusive as you try to pretend, uh, to pretend they are. They are under unfair political oppression. They live in conditions that are way worse than what they can be living in due to the fact that the state of Israel is terrified from an Arab majority within its borders because we have nowhere to go. Okay, wait, hold on. <laughs> stop, wait, wait, stop. Fully mm -hmm. legally franchising every person within Gaza would not threaten the Jewish majority in Israel, for one. So that fear is unfounded. For two, everything, so everything you're talking about, you are defending it because you're consistently downplaying how bad things are in Gaza. Gaza what? is like, God, no, 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 please, you interrupt me constantly, okay? No, 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 no. Gaza and Israel are, li Gaza and, Gaza and Israel are literally like, it's different tiers of development as a nation. Gaza, one in 10 people in Gaza have access to clean drinking water. They are subject to a massive list of arbitrary legal rules that restrict their movement, deny them rights. It's apartheid. That's the term. It's an apartheid system. It's an apartheid system where their rights and their movement and their access to clean resources are restricted. And this is a system Wait, that you are that. that you are defending. You say it's the fault of American political influence. You say actually Israelis don't even want this, even though we damn well know that Israeli citizens do not have generally good attitudes towards Palestinians. You fear monger over an Arab you fear monger over an Arab majority in Israel if Palestinians were fully enfranchised and suggest that the reason yes, why we don't gosh. have full enfranchisement of Palestinians is because of yes, their gosh. opinion on right to return when, when it when is when it is the Israeli yeah. government that denies Palestinians the right to return despite them having asked for it for well over half a century while continuing to give right to return to uh, to, um, to Jewish people to impose the false idea that Judaism and Israeli citizenship are in any way connected. Like, you're defending this at every level. You just won't admit you're defending it. Stop. Judaism and Israeli citizenship are not connected. Israel is 20 to 25 percent Palestinians right now, citizen. That is why the problem with the majority. Then the where are their legal rights? Gaza. The problem is that we're already barely a majority Jewish state. And even that majority is split between, well, people I wouldn't want to you be are, next. You are seriously arguing right now that you have a right to fear monger over an Arab majority. And as a result of that, you get to keep them disenfranchised in apartheid conditions. Like, who, like if Jews get outvoted, that sucks, dude. So maybe we can follow through with that. And <clears> but we still do. Bombing. We have a 1.64 birth rate. They have a 1.34 birth rate. That is significantly lower. So maybe the difference uh, well, no, is... Well, wait a second. Wait a second. Okay. When you say significant, when you say it's significantly lower, they're really low in both areas. If you're, If all your policy prescription is to Japan is, hey pay people for overtime. And that's already the policy prescription inside of the United States. How do you plan on outsourcing this policy? That's the whole question. You want other country to do Vosh ethics. How does Vosh want to make Japan start paying for overtime? I'm just talking about learning what policies would be most effective to increasing the birth rate. I think that the fact that we have that policy in the United States helps. So that was one example. There are like a thousand more that we could go over because obviously something as nebulous and complicated as improving the birth rate is going to involve. I mean, we could talk about criminology. We could talk about economics. We could talk about there are so many fields where you could influence the outcomes here. I, I, I mean, no single human could know even a quarter of it. Like we're talking about a insane set of shifts. But hey, Big paradigm shifts are what socialists are supposed to be all about, so I'm fine with it, yeah. So how would you move that big paradigm shift? Well, we already have 
uh, paid overtime in the United States. So I no, think no, no, no. Externally, won. externally, Vosh. Um, you mean like to make Japan better about this? Yeah. So you want to export your ethical system, right? Uh, no, Japanese workers also want to be paid for overtime. There are labor rights organizations that have been really active there for decades. They have a lot of trouble because Japan is not that democratic. Uh, we don't talk about it that much because we mostly think of Japan as like anime and pocky sticks, but Japan is, um, not great <laughs> politically in a lot of ways. And yeah, great. But you still want to export your brand of ethics to Japan, so, uh, right? I think that the labor workers over there have been fighting for overtime pay for a long time. I mean, are, are they, would supporting them be exporting my ethics? You can just say yes. You know, I don't even know why that's a problem you, to say. To, you to, say bring, yes. to bring the answer down to your IQ level. You asked him a question, let him answer. Yeah. So, so I don't, I, I guess right now the current like setup, like the current disingenuous setup for a gotcha is that I believe that it's good for good things to happen to people in other countries. Now you um, think it's good to export your moral system. So, so no, I don't understand how, what your criticism well, is of other people doing hang it. On, hang on, hang on, Children, children, children. Let's let Vosh answer the original yes, question. Sir, though, and you asked him. So uh, again, the, he frames this entirely in gotchas. Um, the idea of I support labor rights organizations in Japan means I support exporting ethics, means I should support exporting ethics in all cases. The the functional argument that is being made here would be that me supporting overtime pay in Japan is equivalent to like Hitler invading neighboring countries. It is a level of uh, political reductionism that is genuinely so retarded that I don't know how he put his shirt on before showing up to the debate. Uh, well, I, think, I mean, I don't know how you see me with those big Coke bottle glasses, but the truth is you haven't seen any arguments either. But I, I am happy to see that you've finally been losing I, weight. I think that worker rights are good everywhere they are practiced. Yeah, I know. You want to export your ethical system. I don't. I, the mm -hmm. thing which is, is, is which again, is right. the All... criticism applied to me is the same criticism applied to you. Is, isn't it I know that you how... think that that's not big brain because I don't use enough adjectives, but it is true, Vosh. Isn't it incredible how even after we chanted policy policy together um he still can't um i mean if 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 supporting labor rights organizations in japan is like uh, adolf hitler inv invading poland or whatever then like okay sure i want to uh Liebens around japan by promoting their happiness and higher birth rates by doing things that are democratically desirable to the population i believe that it's okay to make arguments because i believe in freedom I will Lebensraum the mind space of people all around the world by doing Hitler-esque things, like saying that it's good to get along and sharing is caring. Um, I mean, uh, you know, we're talking like Sesame Street ethics here. So, now, what are we even? What are we pretending to care about right now? There are shipments and shipments going into Gaza. There are literal trucks. Israel drugs even. They actually import and Israel does not prevent them from importing. Well, except for weapons, which is an issue, but wait, why not? Wait, I'm sorry. Why can't weapons be brought into Palestine? If it's its own country, don't countries have a right to import weapons? No. No. Uh excuse no. me. Wait, I'm sorry. I was under the impression sovereign nations had a right to import weapons for national defense if they wanted. No. Are you no. suggesting to me that for some reason Israel has the right to determine the national defense propensities of another sovereign nation? Can you explain that to me? So why not wait? I'm sorry. Why can't weapons go to Gaza, the separate country of Gaza? Yes. By the way, why do you wait? No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Wait. I thought I thought Palestine was a separate country. Are you denying them their sovereign right to maintain a national defense? Palestine has been at war with Gaza since the Hamas, which the United States really not not a hardly consistent terrorist organization. By the way, they're awful to the people in Gaza. Nobody who lives in Gaza and I talk to has like anything good to say about the Hamas and trust me, this is not because oh, they're talking to an Israeli. No. I, I don't I like, don't understand. I just don't understand why they can't have shipments of weapons sent to them. No, Israel will not allow an enemy state. Allow? Oh, wow. I'm sorry. I wasn't why under the impression it was your decision to make. Why does the U.S. control what what weapons can and cannot be be bought by Japan? 
uh, because of they a treaty, because way. because of a treaty we signed mutually. Can you find me the Palestine treaty that allows Israel to deny them the uh, exchange of goods across their border? Can you find yes, me that treaty they they signed? They are also agreeing with literally armed with German weapons to the Palestinian police forces. Why can't they have weapons? Which they still use, by the way, with conjunction with the Israeli police forces, by the way. I just, and, I, I um, like, we, we can continue with the song and dance for a while. I guess the idea that you would genuinely pretend that Palestine operates as a sovereign nation and not as like an entrapped no, territory over which Israel has complete control is really ridiculous. Palestine is not a sovereign nation. It is an entity, it is a legal entity, it is not a country, they have never declared themselves to be a country. Then, then why did you say that they're two countries? It's an apartheid state. Israel has control over Palestine. What? Israel has control over Palestine. No, it does not. Yes, it does. I, no. See, this is why I, I don't no, know. No, no. I don't know if you this consider is, yourself like a left-leaning or humanitarian this individual in the subject. Have a part in, in internal affairs yeah. in Palestinian. Yeah, this is what I mean when I talk about like average Israeli this citizen. Like, it's like um, it, it's like we're the progressives on this, you know. <laughs> and this is what you get. Um, Look, I, I, guys, I don't know what to tell you, okay? Like, this is what I mean. When I say, like, you two Why? want them all dead, like, this is what I'm talking about. You, you, the framework through which you analyze Can this I problem is one which perpetuates it indefinitely because you won't address the reality of the situation. There were mass, there were, there were disagreements between Belarus and uh, Russia that actually exceeded and were far more uh, serious than the disagreements. They the are between. allies. They, why would they invade an ally? I mean, no, I'm saying, listen to me, listen. I'm saying there were actual disagreements between the president of Belarus and Putin that actually exceeded any of the disagreements taking place between Yanukovych and Putin and between Yanukovych and the economic uh, union, uh, the European well, Union and the economic association. I don't, so I'm saying I don't care. Just, what what well, does that have to do with anything we're talking about? If, if Russia, if you're saying that Russia is willing to invade whenever there's a disagreement or whenever one of their neighbors doesn't no, do something, no, they actually... invade when it's in their geopolitical interests, like Ukraine, a territory with ripe natural resources, geopolitical yeah. access, and a population that's been destabilized well, by a no, decade so me, of so post-annexation no, destabilization. So, yeah. Let me ask you this: so then, when Belarus actually decided to diversify their purchases away from Russian crude and go to Europe and the United States, and there was ongoing tense negotiations between Putin and the president of Belarus, and it broke down. According to your model, why didn't Putin invade? Do you think Americans, do you think America is an imperialist country? Do you think, do you think America is an imperialist country? Of course, yeah. Do you? Okay, then why didn't we invade Germany when they didn't allow us to buy all of their steel at zero dollars per, per pound? No, but I'm I'm not saying that an imperialist country actually always will invade or annex or actually use. Well, that's great. Neither am I. It's almost like there's a complex series of factors which determines Gosh, whether or not it's geopolitically it, no, advantageous. And I'm saying that what you would expect to see based on the factors you've listed in terms of why they invaded Ukraine, you would expect to see that in the case of Belarus. All no, the factors nobody in my audience is saying like, well, why didn't they invade Belarus? Nobody here has, has derived that conclusion from the premises that I've laid out. I'm not, I'm not interested in your audience. I'm saying that, that nobody thinks on... that. You keep assigning no. that to me because it's way easier than responding to points I actually have. No, I'm I, giving you, you... You've done this like a dozen times, man. Well, then why <laughs> Then why don't they invade Kazakhstan? Well, then why haven't they invaded Belarus? Then why didn't they just annex Georgia? Listen, it's not, it's not fucking EU4. This isn't Civilization no. 6 or something, okay? They do what they can do, and there are incredibly complicated variables which determine what they're able to do. Putin has <sighs> invested millions of dollars hundreds of millions in destabilizing Ukraine and preparing them for invasion. He, this isn't some he, errant he, fuck about. No, this isn't some errant fuck about. He has wanted Ukraine. He United has said, States Putin States. has said and has been saying for years Gosh, that Ukraine you, is a listen, part of Russia. They the call United it the States Ukraine. The destabilize the Why are you talking the about the United <laughs> States? Is there like, because, is this a disease? Because, are you oh, incapable? Simple. Are you like an simple. albino who flees from the point like they flee from the sun? Why? Because no, because Ukraine, you crane, you listen, you crane. Mm -hmm. They have funded secessionist listen, groups. I'm just saying that you know, they have brought all... troops oh, to the border. This they Putin has said Ukraine is a part of Russia. They listen. want to take Ukraine.
But you said that you met a lot of trans people that don't have this idea that I have, right? No, I no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm a third Yeah, I, I've never met a person who is like what mm -hmm. you're talking about. Somebody who says, hey, I'm a, I, I am a, a, a signed male at birth, and I go by he, him pronouns, but I'm a woman, but also I'm not going to do any kind of social and medical transition. If such a person were to exist, I would still respect them, but they're also, at least not within my line of sight, somebody that exists. Uh, no, but why would you respect them? Because it's the self-ID model. They self-ID'd. That's it. So it's, then, like, when done. conservatives are passing all these anti-trans legislation... And they're saying being transgender isn't even real. They can point to your self ID model and say, well, look, even in their model, like I could be a woman. Uh, the self ID right. model has been uh, rallied around as a celebrated system for accepting trans identity because it's good for them, not because it's bad for them. Tr uh, conservatives would not stop being transphobic if we were like, oh, no, 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 as long as you socially transition. That's not how that works. They, they, they wouldn't give up and go, oh, well, we were going to exterminate your, your, your whole group. But, you know, now that you've only considered people trans who have engaged in some level of social transition, well, then we're going to hold off. This isn't a real this isn't a real problem. In truth, none of this is a real problem. There's no harm at all in and trans legislation is not a real problem. What you No, what you're to, talking about to isn't a real battle problem. these legislations. We need to prove that trans people are valid and real. Uh, and that there is a real so, person that we are defending, no, a real protected class that we are defending, right? What you're talking about isn't a real problem. What you're describing is not a real problem. Uh, as I just said, no, you're not going to end the culture war against trans people by saying that trans people I mean, are I'm not trying trans. to end the culture war. I'm trying to, you know, validate trans people's existence. So, and can you explain like to Florida, me how you've made... People in Florida who, their... I, didn't they just pass a bill that you can't, your doctor can deny you gender-affirming care? Under your prescription, just to be a woman, they won't even need that care. They can just say, well, I'm a woman. So I'll... What? Wait, 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 wait. You, wait, hold on. I don't think you've thought uh -huh. through your positions very well because you already argued that a person doesn't need any kind of medical transition to be considered valid in their transition. Yeah, they need a social transition. So what you're arguing right? now is that under your model, people would mm -hmm. collectively agree that they would need breast implants or bottom surgery in order to be considered... A trans woman and that would be the metric by which they would get gender affirming care wait i'm kind of lost system. like i feel like no, trans you, you women are lost that's the problem you're, no your arguments are no yeah i feel like you're kind of misrepresent you're kind of making me like no, no, a no, trans you, you just medical you person just made the i'm argument. just saying that what some, it's important to someone to affirm their gender you just something like female feminization surgery or phallioplasty you, you're aware of you're the saying, fact well you don't need that wait, hold just on. being a man is being if a, a person man. wants Mm -hmm. medical treatment to help them align mm -hmm. with their gender identity and they go to the clinic and they say they want that that is them doing that i'm not entirely sure what's missing under the self-id model if they yeah, go so there why, why is that as valid as if, if a person who looks why is like a me cisgender man with no desire it's not a cisgender as as it's not who... a cisgender male no, no no you don't understand the terms that you're using if a person goes to a healthcare clinic and who looks mm -hmm. like me and says i'm a woman mm -hmm. i would like bottom surgery you realize that is both an element of social transition and an expression of interest in medical transition, right? So at that point, they already would have met the criteria that you think my people don't meet. Are we talking about a cisgender man who went in? We're not talking about we're anything. <laughs> the, the thing you're talking about isn't real and doesn't exist. You're talking about a, a, a made up people group of people who pretend to be would, trans. No, don't. this isn't a real. This isn't real. It's not real. You, this group, you already admitted this is nonsense. This doesn't happen. This well, group of said, people doesn't you, exist. You're obsessing over them because you're trying to find a wedge argument against a system that works for everybody and hurts nobody. The main person overseeing U.S. foreign policy in Ukraine is talking about how to reorganize Ukraine's government as U.S. NGOs are funneling money into their preferred groups that they have been well, propping well, up in this area forever. So, so and you that's know, very I mean, concerning. Going back but... to the the thing Angela Merkel admitted, Angela Merkel said this: the U.S.'s goal and NATO's goal has always been to build up military in Ukraine so that they can attack Russia. Right? The coup fit right into their broader strategy. Eddie. Um, which is, I know, I know you want me to just hyper focus on something. Well, I, I mean, right? on but this evidence is part of a broader a concept, and, a, and a yeah. longer history, a broad and very vague um, and, one. And we need to seems. bring in like evidence for the 2014 coup doesn't have to exclusively well, come from 2014. I mean, you've right? laid we out a pretty back to World War Two. No, I don't think money going to Ukraine in the 40s means that the U.S. orchestrated a 2014 coup. Uh, wait, I just, I'm so. 
you talked about that's this. Not so what wait, I wait, 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 you have to tell me, you've made so many confident statements about the U.S. involvement in this. Then you just said, we don't have the details. Do you have a detail? Any specific? Yes. So you just hyper-focus on that part? No, no, no. Like and anything. You, like, you no, no, missed no. the, Literally you the any... part about the NGOs funneling money. Yeah, that, no, no, that's what I'm NATO asking about. training troops in no, Ukraine no, 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 and I'm asking about the NGOs you ignore like, no, the fact that Victoria no, I'm not, Newman no, had a I'm asking, call where she said she was, where she talked about how she was reorganizing the government of no, Ukraine. Eddie, I'm asking you about that. I'm asking you, Eddie, that is what I'm asking you about. To, to hyper focus on the part where I said we don't know all of. The no, 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 Eddie, I'm asking you we don't. about the but money I just gave you a whole being funneled of evidence through NGOs of US involvement in Ukraine, Eddie, in the lead up to the 2014 Eddie, overthrow Eddie, of the government. I just asked for any evidence, and you got upset. Set. I'm asking you for anything regarding the financial transactions. I'm saying this is all stuff you've done in your past, past you, debates, bro. You're past getting, debates? Uh, ah, yeah. come on. You can't be mad about how this one is going. So pretend that you have some kind of history of my behavior to call upon. We talked privately before this convo. You were fine and civil. Now you're here filibustering. What's changed? Nothing but your nerves. What's changed? The precedent you set that I followed. Your nerves. What if alt hissed? Okay. So you have to leave in three minutes? Should we talk now about which countries you think are communist? Or is there some underlying position you would like to arrive at? What's wrong with social justice? It doesn't work. How not? It worked, to answer. it worked before, worked during the abolitionist days, suffragist days, before, civil rights movement, aren't, second wave feminist social movement. Justice movement. Me, in a manner which you're not able to describe, define, or delineate. Is a, I describe it as a philosophy based off the combination of the Frankfurt and the postmodernist school what's wrong with postmodernism is built upon the theory that power is the ultimate relationship of human power is the ultimate relationship inside human societies and the dominant the purpose of a society is to fight against said oppression and that we should structure our civilization around combating the oppression that comes do you from, like fighting oppression and built upon the theory that there are no social relationships outside power don't you think that we should fight oppression and also, they don't claim should, there are no social think, relations outside power. I think we power. should be. I think we should be critical and intelligent about it, rather than just trying to slide everyone into a black or white worldview based on whether or not they fight. Oppression. Wait, you think? Wait, hold on. You think postmodernism, the philosophy around believing there's no objective truth or narrative, slides people into black or white uh, sides? Isn't that yeah, mutually obvious. contradictory? That's obvious to anyone who's looking at this. Critically. Wait, so it's an ideology which rejects empirical truth and encourages a multifaceted approach towards social analysis. There's balance but to also everything. you think the people who would uh -huh. say would do, the people who say, look, the way people often work is that they put on a facade and they're really the opposite. And social oh, justice I see. did that. It they got on me a with that one. Of, it put on a facade of what it's dominant of, of they put on a facade and then through that facade it basically allowed itself to do the exact opposite they've duped because me. they thought they were rid of it and that's the case with all humans where we all need to achieve balance and so when we say one thing too loudly we're probably going to end up doing the other i need to get going but do you have any last statements man we so they do one thing but then the other and their ideology says one thing but they act the other way because yeah. source trust me and because they're two-faced yeah I mean, so your response, I your response to, to the answer, so I can't give you a good answer. The theory of postmodernism is that they're lying. Uh, you would need to break that down, but I don't have time. So take care. All right. Have a, have good, a good one. Day. Bye. Holy shit. That was so much more insufferable than I thought it was going to be. Oh, my God. I just want to be clear here. My point is, despite Ukraine not being added to NATO, NATO was still building up military capacity in Ukraine. And the point of that was to eventually attack Russia wait, and eventually probably add Ukraine to NATO, which they kept floating. Wait, how, the how many of doing? But how many NATO troops did we have in Ukraine? Uh, it was thousands, uh, not NATO troops. Sorry. They were training Ukrainian troops to be NATO interoperable. Okay, so that well, they wait. They could launch military operations alongside NATO 
which is Angela Merkel said would would you know give them the ability to okay that's it's a very different use Ukraine alongside NATO troops so to hold, attack Russia. Okay, so hold on I, this doesn't make sense in a couple of levels first of all every country in the world with the exception of those that don't like NATO want NATO troops training their troops because we're NATO. I mean, we're the U.S., right? We're the best. I don't think um, every country in the world, I don't think Russia and China want that. No, no, except for countries who don't like NATO. I mean, like, if you're not ideologically aligned against the United States, I would say States, most of the NATO, world doesn't like NATO anymore after what they've been seeing. You can litigate that if you like, but there's no Ukraine. denying our military capabilities, right? We certainly have well-trained, well-armed soldiers. That's not, that's not a moral yes, statement. which is I'm just why Russia about was threatened by, right. by the NATO training. So, okay. So NATO training Ukrainian troops. The reason that Ukrainian troops were being trained was because somebody started a war in the Donbass and Ukraine, because it's a poor, at least it was a poor country, didn't have soldiers to fight against it. That's one of the reasons the Azov Battalion grew to the prominence that it did. You have these like ultra nationalist, like blood and soil types who form militias because Ukraine literally has no organized military to fight in the Donbass. Um, now, obviously, that doesn't make what they're doing right. I mean, I'm glad they're fighting against Russian aggression, but I don't agree with them being international. Like, do you really think the people so, of the Donbass were like about to like march into Western Ukraine and start attacking them? No, I think they were trying to secede with East Ukraine, which they did. That's what they tried to do. They had right. Yeah. So you just said that these groups didn't have a lot of power in Ukraine. The these ethno nationalist groups. Um, but they were able to seize hold of the Ukrainian government. Clearly, they had a lot of power. No, and they were able in the to country. seize buildings. And then there, wait, 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 wait. You're doing it again. We've gone over these points. Shelling the homes. It was, it was absolutely Western wait, Ukraine. Wait, we've, we've gone over these points. The US no, nationalists. We're backsliding. We're being offensive towards Eastern Ukraine. We're backsliding. Right? No. So, you're, you're... so, is it possible that there are systems where the greed of the people on top? supersedes what might be otherwise considered a rational economic goal like say for example having no, saving teachers. money is a rational economic goal not if we don't uh, have enough uh, teachers to teach our kids creating, in a public school at creating that. an opportunity for graduate students uh to develop their skills is a rational goal for the graduate students yeah oh yeah i'm sure them not I getting paid i don't feel like i was particularly rational exploited goal. it helped me pay my way through grad school teaching the undergrads so you got paid not all of them get paid a little how much did yeah. you get paid i mean it's not much what they pay you uh, the, the way they pay you of course is mostly in tuition dollars the vast majority of the payment is in you know, waving the, the interesting. Fees for so you accrue a large debt, and then people desperately work it off for lower than the wage of people doing comparable work because they have a large debt. I wonder if I've seen this before in any like history lessons. Like, I wonder if anyway, there's a comparable back to teachers. Back to yeah. So it is not economically rational to have a system well, where there is a teacher is. shortage. The teachers are not being coerced into either taking the job or not taking the job. Oh my God. Job. So wait, hold on. Teachers. What is, so no, 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 wait, wait. So we're, we're coming up against like the fundamental misunderstanding that you have over economics. All right. People who become teachers. Oh, do school me. Teachers. Please. I'm happy to. People who become teachers do so because they want to teach, not for the wages. Nobody becomes an elementary school teacher for the money. That's insane. Nobody does that. Nobody does it for free. First of all, that's not even true because there are tons of people who work in like subsidiary or side economic groups or to do volunteering who would happily teach for free. But leaving that aside, yeah, we well, need to pay people to people, do that. People and there are plenty need of to people pay. who become teachers yeah. because it pays pretty good people and you need, get the summer. No, off hold too, on. But. No, being a teacher does not pay good. One, two, people need to pay rent. So this is the element of coercion that I would argue is present in getting any job in a market system that we have right now. Is that okay, that's you, not what the word coercion no, means. Wait, wait, no, wait, it's not. Wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. It's not, quick, it's not what the word coercion means to you because your definitions are wrapped up in a cult-like understanding of economics that has nothing to do with the real world. Coercion is just anytime you're pressured into doing something. If you're being pressured by the state or being pressured by the fact that you will starve to death if you don't do a thing, those are both forms of coercion. If you want to so argue- So you're suggesting that our entire economic system is coercion. You've got it. And as a libertarian, if you disagree with me on that, then you're faking it and LARPing because any libertarian would agree with that statement right there because I'm you sorry, should- did you say LARPing? Yes. 
because you should believe, if you're consistent in your ideology, that all of this is coercive because government regulations set up market forces in a way that interfere with the natural functionality of the market. You arguing that this isn't coercive and that the market is working as intended with our teacher shortage is a failure not only in my ideology, but yours, which makes me wonder again what kind of libertarian you are. Right. So the Minsk agreements were intended and framed as a peace agreement that was going to end conflict with Russia. Where's the where's and the And Merkel invading? is saying that Ukraine was building up military capacity. Where's the thing about invading Russia, though? They were. The. I'm not sure if she explicitly said, I guess we're going to invade Russia, but that's kind um, of implied in the fact that the Minsk agreements, like I said, were framed as as this is going to bring peace. This is going to bring peace between Ukraine and Russia. And then Merkel said, no, it was just a way for us to build up military capacity, meaning NATO military capacity. Where does she say and NATO so, military So I guess I, I made a mistake in saying she said we're explicitly going to attack Russia, but but that's implied because like... I said Russia had said multiple times more NATO capacity in Ukraine is a threat to us, and, and that's a red line. And where it's gonna where push does us she closer to nuclear war? Where does she say NATO's military capacity? It looks like she's talking about the Minsk Accords giving Ukraine time to fortify, which you know it bar it didn't because the separatists violated it like immediately, so it didn't even do that. Um, so where where is where are we? Okay. Did, did, did you lie to me? I don't see... Where's the mention of building up NATO troops or invading Russia? That was a pretty big thing. You you predicated the entire legitimacy of Russia's act of purported self-defense on the idea that NATO has admitted that it has plans to build up troop capacities and yes, use Ukraine as a Yes, and NATO was literally training troops, thousands of troops on so the border don't, So you lied! Time. This so, doesn't so say capacity, that at all! What military capacity did you think that Merkel was talking about? It's Ukraine. Germany's a NATO member country. Obviously, she's referring to NATO's military it's a capacity conflict in Ukraine as they're between training NATO Russia on Russia's border. It's a conflict between Russia and Ukraine. She obviously we is saying... We all know it's more than that. We all oh know my it's a conflict God, between you're NATO. Deep. We all know it's a conflict between NATO and you're Russia. You're in deep. Okay, so you completely lied about this. You said that she said that they were going no. to invade Russia, and it doesn't even mention NATO troop capacity. And the only evidence you have is that, well, uh, read between the lines. Obviously, she means the Minsk Accords that were violated eight seconds after they were passed would give NATO the strongest military alliance on Earth the time to defend itself against Russia. Okay. Wow, I can see why Russia rushed to invade Ukraine up the back of evidence like this. Clearly, they had no choice with the immeasurable threat levied at imagine, their doors. Imagine if this was happening in Mexico, if there was if Wagner Group was training up troops right on the border of Mexico and the U.S. And then there was a peace agreement that said Mexico was going to demilitarize and, and we were going to have peace and Russia was not going to be involved in Mexico. What? And then seven years later, we found out that Russia was continuing to train up troops in Mexico. And Russia said, guess what? Wait. We never planned to follow the peace agreement. We were just going to keep building up troops. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, Don't wait. you think that would imply that they were building up troops to threaten, contain, or, or attack no, the U.S.? No, there's no relationship between right? the NATO troop training and what she's saying about the Minsk Accords. The reason she's saying this about the Minsk Accords is because she didn't she's think Russia NATO would follow leader. them. As NATO she's, is no, you are reaching Russia, so hard. You were like, yeah, she admitted she would invade Russia. And what then I look at this article and you're like, about, if not NATO? Ukraine, what military do you Ukraine, think she's talking about, if not NATO? the country that was in the war, Ukraine, that was being that one. trained up directly by NATO. Yeah, that's not a secret, Ukraine's obviously. Military, Ukraine is essentially a puppet of the U.S. and NATO. Wait, like no, no, wait, don't run, wait, don't run away from the point. You completely lied about this, man. I am so no, happy I asked you for this article. No, you you're, you and now you're talking here, fast you because you know you that you were you caught lying. Gotcha and you don't. You know you were caught Angela lying. Because Angela Merkel was talking about building up NATO capacity. Where? Where in this article? Wait, wait, can you, can you control, I'm control effing, can you find it? Who is she talking about if not NATO and Ukraine? Listen to the quote, listen to the quote, okay? Listen, I'm going to read it out loud and we're going to see, okay? Listen, this is from Der Spiegel. She believes, she is Merkel, by the way. She believes that later during the Minx talks, she was able to buy the time Ukraine, I spoke that one louder just so that it was clear needed to better fend off the Russian attack. She says it 
this is also Ukraine, is now a strong, well-fortified country. Back then, she is certain it, that's Ukraine, would have been overrun by Putin's troops. And then we don't, we don't, we don't have you large enough of a movement are to... are wrong in believing uh, that people and power. rhetoric like me are harmful to our coalition. Fear is what got people to vote for Biden. Yes! fear but they don't want to feel like they're as bad as the other side everyone feels that way you can you're fear not longer a lot you know no, stop you absolutely should express to people how dangerous the republican party um especially certain elements of, of it are but if your rhetoric sounds a whole lot like theirs and what you want to do now that we know that there's a lot of things to be afraid about this is an aesthetic concern. we're not going to grow a that's like your entire job is your aesthetic. It's a it's a fleeting aesthetic concern. What we sound like them because they th say that they need to go and what kill or legally oppress trans people, and I say trans people need to defend themselves against their oppressors. If no a one's liberal, calling to kill. If a so. if a liberal hears those two things and sounds no difference, they deserve to die. Uh, when the but when you're the fascist gonna die mob too, comes Baj. through, you're gonna you die can't too listen. Because your a liberal wasn't big enough to actually get in power. And a liberal it. You're is gonna be a worthless. Fun little friend on the side with your guns, and you're gonna be shooting at people. And you're gonna stop. Die. No, so, stop. I, wonderful. I have been exceptionally patient, but I'm going to lose it now. <laughs> Do you it. You continue to believe that civility politics is a necessary component of marketing to liberals, and you are doing this by perpetuating the fact that liberal civility politics is necessary to speak with them. If your audience would be turned off by the belief that you should be able to defend yourself against fascism, change your That's audience. That's not what I'm talking Ch about. No, you don't understand. You That's not think at all what, what I'm, you are taking issue with. What you, with you are, what you believe is that it harms us in any way to engage in the kind of defensive rhetoric that Republicans have been using successfully for decades. You have fallen for it. You are a psyop. You believe, they're telling you, they're whispering in your ear, yes, don't tell them that we're going to kill them. Don't let them believe they need to defend themselves against fascism. You would only hurt your movement by doing the thing that we've done successfully. You're falling for it. You're co-intel pro, my friend. Not really. I don't want to be accused of making these accusations sincerely. But it is frustrating. L Independents will be moved by the rhetoric they hear. Republicans have moved a lot of people with theirs. It's time for us to wake up realize and we don't have time fucked. our rhetoric is fucked because we don't spend enough time no. fear-mongering <laughs> i said it sucked um yeah be yes uh, i totally agree with you fear does drive people to the polls all that type of stuff so what do we but say you have to understand that uh i think you would agree that agree to this too the reason why we don't stay in power is because on the campaign trail democrats do a really good job of i have never been in power they, they fear <laughs> yeah yes obviously um i'm talking about the current Democratic Party. The reason why they get taken out of power is because they don't actually do a lot or materially improve people's lives a lot or anything. And then, like you mentioned, they're not great at effectively fear-mongering. Um, but in the example of the Trump-Biden election, there was a lot to fear-monger about, obviously, in the middle of COVID and all that type of stuff. And then Biden did have a pretty broad appeal in the message that he was... Because I know you're saying it's not all fear the reason why uh you're able to get in power is fear plus something that they can also grab onto and if all it all it is is like hey come join our movement because we want to kill them and they want to kill us it's like uh, it's not doing anything and i think we've i mean i don't know i feel like we're just running in circles i just to me there yeah, is sorry. no mutually exclusive element here and the only reason people on the left and center are turned off by my messaging is because they haven't been introduced to enough of it yet. So introduce it to them more. Get them more familiar with it, okay? It's not my fault that the Democratic Party has made it their mission to coddle and weaken their voters to the greatest possible extent. And now you have millions of Americans, these embarrassing, you know, urbanite liberals whose best response to everything the Republicans do to undermine democracy is we'll vote harder next time. No, you won't. You're not going to get to the voting booths. You're not going to get a chance. No political body is effective or relevant without a plan for how to deal with the end of the democracy that their party exists in. The Republicans are ready and waiting. Where I the guess, fuck are we? This one coming in from Do Appreciate Your Question. John Carter said masturbation is objectively more evil than rape. It violates the natural law, which is more grave than a violation of justice. 
Uh, let's see. I think that's intended for you, Bosch. Do you want to respond? I just, it's, again, uh, like, how, why is it that the greatest defenders of Western civilization are the people most incapable of applying the philosophical precepts it gave to us? Like, do you guys think you can just say anything? It's like, well, well I think that spinach dip is the greatest evil since, uh, since cable television. What are you talking about? Say, like, it's not enough to just say words, you know? They have to be ordered in such a way as to convey information, and you have to back that information up. This one I, actually, actually, the uh, re the point here is it has to do with the sexual act, the logic of the sexual act. And rape is actual sexual intercourse, and so it would be less removed from nature than masturbation, which is not natural intercourse, and not, but not as far removed as uh, sodomy, which is a, a violation of the, the nature of the sexual act. I think you, that's where that guy's coming from. You know what else, is a, you know what else is a violation of the natural order? The concept of debate. Uh, Jones, do you want to just put him up sometime? We can go boxing. Uh, I can pulverize your skeleton. Like, what are you talking about? Like, what, what, like, like what was adherence to the national order? You know that, like, back in the good old days, we would just hit each other with rocks, right? And I guarantee you I can lift a bigger one than you. This, this deference, and it's always the weakest people who defer to it, by the way. The only reason that you weren't cast out from the tribe and left to be eaten by wolves for your degenerate anti-Semitism is because modern civilization coddles you like the infant that you are. The idea that you of all people would be relying on, on this, oh, well, rape is more... No, rape isn't more anything than anything, okay? Shut the fuck up. This one coming in from Jake. That, that's, that's your comment on debate. Got a bigger rock than you, Jones. This is this, this just because he doesn't say ethnic cleansing. Wait, it, I it, asked it, you if they called it ethnic cleansing. What's you ethnic pointed cleansing? to examples of violence. I know they've done violence. You can control F the article, by the way. The only term ethnic cleansing is used here is when in reference to what the Serbs did. So again, um, not yes. So again, not ethnic cleansing. Okay, just because somebody does not use the word ethnic cleansing, I asked you if they use the term. No, let, you, let, no, no, no. Let me finish. No, let you finish use it. No, no, no. You can't. Just admit that you were wrong to say the KLA was engaging uh, in ethnic cleansing. I cannot. Cleansing. The, this no, because the, the okay. Let me let me let me say why. Right. So just because it doesn't say the advert term ethnic cleansing, but the, the the term described there fits the definition of the ethnic cleansing would label the. It does not cleansing. fit the definition of ethnic cleansing. Well, okay, so you think that the widespread and systemic burning and looting of homes belong to the Serbs and other minorities, not the ethnic cleansing and destruction of Orthodox churches and the monasteries, combined with the harassment and intimidation designed to force the people from their homes in the community. That's not ethnic cleansing, according to you. But no, when it's, the Serbs no, it's killed absolutely two, two families, not. That's ethnic cleansing. You're obviously. Wait, I'm sorry. Biased. What was that last sentence you just said right there? When the uh, Serbs combined with the harassment and intimidation designed to force no, 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 the people no, no, no. from their Your homes words. in the communities. Compared to when the Serbs do what? What did the Serbs do? Uh, the compared to the Serbs kill, kill a few families at the beginning before the kill war. Kill a few families at the beginning. Yes, exactly. Do you, uh, wait, do, you, do you understand how dishonest and partisan you are? This is before the war. I specifically timeline before We're the not war. Sorry, not before the war. Before the about bombing. Before, my bad, my bad. No, 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 no. Stop. We're talking. Listen, this is a desperate effort on your part to equivocate when you are the oppressor here. You say, I, I even give you an out. I say, did the Human Rights Watch call it ethnic cleansing? And you say yes, confidently. And then you bluster out of it when it turns out they don't. It's fine. I misremember things all the time. But you are so desperate to compare. I don't know if you understand. Over half the population of Kosovo was displaced from their territory. You are not big enough dogs to engage in this kind of delusional denial. Russia does stuff like this, and they're not strong enough to get away with it. I'm an American. You want nationalism? I can lie about whatever I want, but I don't have to. To, because in you addition to being part of the strongest ago. country in the world, I'm also right on this one. I haven't misrepresented anything in this conversation. Nothing is more pathetic than nationalism from countries that are hamstringing themselves in the global market because they can't put aside how much they hate <laughs> ethnic groups that would constitute a quarter this... of a percent of the population of the United States if every single one of them was to emigrate here. It's pathetic. You're not strong that enough to be sure. this proud. You realize this, right? Your people, sure. the Serbian people, are starving. They are impoverished because they lock themselves out of market because they're still seething over the fact that Albanian Kosovo has gotten independence. And for what? Like, what are you gaining through this? Like, what? Um, like, holding on to this, like, you're like, how old are you? You're not older than I am. I know that. You were probably I, barely even alive back when the KLA was still active. So what? what did your parents tell you this? Where did it come from? What incentivizes you to engage in this pithy, myopic nationalism when all it does is cripple you in your country?
there. If, if I, Russia, if Russia were to have fomented a revolution or a coup uh, to have a, a less friendly uh, political establishment in Mexico, uh, would you find that to be an acceptable thing to do? What uh, what coup? I'm so, the Maidan revolution. According to George, uh, uh, what's his name? Friedman of Stratfor. It's the most obvious coup in the history of the world. Uh, I don't agree with that at all. The uh, Ukrainian people d- didn't like um, so, uh, 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 their leadership. Well, I, I agree with you. They didn't like their leadership, but it's a little bit more complicated than that. If you want to make it, I, I, if you want to make it as simplistic as possible to, to fit your framework, that's fine. But the rest of us dealing with the reality of the situation are going to acknowledge that if, this war it was catalyzed by U.S. intervention abroad, yeah. six thousand miles away, unnecessarily. They don't have the moral authority to dictate what Russia so, should do in response. Uh, again, they no, are. They. This is what they no, wanted. This is what they wanted from the jump. No, it's it's not even remotely. All of this was caused by Russia, and you're so like held. All all of it was caused by power. Russia. As yeah, John so, McCain, the warmonger no, no, of no, warmongers, is, 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 is standing is, is standing at the Maidan I mean. Revolution with this a microphone, I, advocating is, saying, "America stands with you." This is what I mean by you being America last. You're like those white guys who keep bragging to everyone in earshot. No, I'm America, America first. People. I think no, John McCain's hate, a nightmare of a human hate, being. America, because you are so desperate to blame every element. No, I hate our empire. I love America. Let me finish. America did not cause the Euromaidan. Russia tried to have a pet dictatorship over in Ukraine by allowing um, uh, uh, Yanukovych to uh, enforce the black protest laws. What was it? Black Tuesday. They yeah. encouraged him to do so. This is yeah. Russia doing this. And, 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 like, and then we re- we replaced him with our puppet regime. No, it, no, it's the same. It's nope, the same bullshit. No, nope, nope. See, this is how you keep making up because you hate America. You want to blame us. You want to accept moral fault for everything. The Bosh, it is such Ukrainian a it is such a bizarre framing to say people. that I hate America because I don't like you our do. empire. You know, no, I don't no, like our just, empire. You just don't like America. You seek to blame it for everything, like the self apologetic no. white man or the self hating male feminist. You take America. <laughs> no, that's what I mean. It's pathetic. America <laughs> did not create the regime after fun, man. Yanukovych was removed, not even remotely. You're the Ukrainian fun. people. I like you, you. you. You're getting upset because you don't like this framing. The Ukrainian people. No, I don't. People, I don't like the framing of saying Ukra- that I hate let, America let, because let, I don't like our empire. The, oh, let, the, no, let me the finish. The Ukraine, let me finish. No, 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 you let me finish, finish telling you, you how un-American no, 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 you are. You haven't let me finish in ages, man. Yanukovych was outed because he was a puppet dictator, and the Ukrainian people have consistently engaged in higher levels of democratic engagement. Yeah, and, and, and when, the no, puppet, no, 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 the I pu- wasn't I wasn't finished of democratic engagement and lowered levels of corruption constantly. Now, your goal here is to promote Russian state propaganda by blaming every change on America, everything. America did the coup because McCain spoke one time at an event. Oh, actually, America was the one who shot down the peace treaty because Boris Johnson went over there. The Ukrainian people did not want a dictator. The Ukrainian people do not want to be invaded by Russia. The Ukrainian people have a very different take on these events than you do as the ones actually being invaded i think their perspective is very worthwhile to listen to and what you are doing is taking every petty justification from the kim jong-un of russia and you're repeating it uncritically as though it actually is all our fault did we fuck up yes did we handle the dissolution of the soviet union terribly yes are we at fault for a lot of things yes but for god's sake there are things we're not at fault for and i think it's really disgusting and anti-american to legitimately lay this at our feet especially when it comes at the expense of a ukrainian self-defense if a person believes so there's no empirical evidence for reincarnation but if a person believes in the hindu form of reincarnation don't you see how that might make them have a much more blasé attitude towards murder? Like, they could, if they could see a person do a good deed, like maybe a homeless guy who's lived a life of debauchery and alcoholism jumps forward to, like, save a kid from a speeding car, and they both live. And the, 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 the Hindu thinks, if I murder that person, that homeless guy right now, that was the best act of their life. They, they will be reborn a prince. Whereas if I let them live, they will wallow back into alcoholism. You know, I will sacrifice my karmic well-being to give these people graceful exits onto their next life. Like, none of this I contradicts empirically empirical... Disagree with that. Not, I disagree None have... of this disagrees with empirical reality. Everything that I just said disagrees with empirical reality. But a person could have a religious belief in reincarnation that could totally morally justify that. That's what would make them so dangerous. All of the That's things that legitimize their belief... Be... Holy, wars, holy wars have been fought over that. You can't, like, you're, you're trying to... 
what the perception I'm getting off of this, I get what you're going at. I mean, I would obviously always keep debating and trying to prevent that person because we're looking how, for how could you all encompassing we're looking for all encompassing like theories of spirituality that have to coincide with empirical data because because the it, empirical data isn't enough. We have to build nothing off of they that believe something that's holistic for everybody. Nothing they believe contradicts empirical data. We don't have empirical data on reincarnation. There's it's non falsifiable. It's as falsifiable as any other spiritual belief. So why couldn't, why, like, wh how could you explain to them that what they're doing is wrong? Say that, like, tell them that the good, that the, the good does not wash out the bad and they, vice they disagree. versa. And well, I, that those are reasons, like, I would try and keep debating that to the point that, like, I would have to stand and fight against them and say, no, that homeless person doesn't deserve to die. Maybe that shows they're worthy of good and doing good things, and that's why we should try and find them a good job. They're just being and sent like, to their next life for an extra, for an extra, like, chance. Nothing's being taken from them. They get a new body. No harm is being done. Their death is painless. They're getting a new shot at everything. They're the fight in, against entropy is getting pushed off, and the ability to progress and have more welfare is being pushed further and further down the road. And we have don't to believe keep. That. Well, then I find the empirical data and it build as hard of an argument to to explain it to them and find it through and explain it through actual symbology and say we're trying to fight the empirical Ragnarok. You can draw empirical parallels between entropy and the big crunch and they don't stuff believe like in those Ragnarok. Things. We only have theories about the nature of the universe. We don't have like concrete evidence. We haven't been around long enough to know. They think that the universe is cyclical just the way that human lives are. So they don't think there's any like any in any of that. They think that what all they're doing is um, allowing a life of misery to be reborn into a life of goodness. There is no <sighs> way to argue against this person except to kill them. You would have to kill them. And that's my and that's argument. That's what holy wars have been for years. That yeah, that's my Protestant argument. Reformation. That that the belief like, in spiritualism can justify non-falsifiable ethical positions that can't be addressed rationally, and you basically have to just culturally dominate or kill them. Like the existence of holy wars is a testament to my point. Spiritualism's like mark on reality holy... isn't one of like peace and kindness. It's one of warfare. Most wars through history, or at least a great many of them, have a strong spiritual component. And nobody's right. Both sides are as wrong as each other. That's the magic of a spiritual conflict. Nobody can be right, because they're both relying on non-falsifiable premises. The worst war in China's history, the, God, what, the fucking uprising of the peasantry, the guy who believed he was the brother of Jesus Christ, 20 to 30 million dead. You know what? I can't tell him he's wrong. I don't think he thought he was like the g direct blood brother of Christ, like the spiritual brother of Christ. How do I know he wasn't? I don't know. How could I, how could I know? So the, how it affects me, we have, it's considered a disputed area. And when you have a disputed area, that means that the less of the people who disputes uh, want to invest disputed area in your who country. Who disputes that it? Means, Does Kosovo dispute it? Uh, around majority of the world disputed. You understand that the Kosovo, Kosovo doesn't, that the majority of the countries support Serbia. You understand that? Uh, the, how many the, countries, the let's see, Kosovo has been recognized as an independent state at one time or another by a total of 119 nations. That, that, is, a, that is a fake, fake, very fake. Oh, it's fake. Gotcha, gotcha, fake. gotcha. Okay, it's no, a fake. No, we can, we, can, we can talk about it. 25 countries uh -huh. revoked the recognition. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So um, this is this is you ignoring the numbers. This is you purposely ignoring uh -huh. the stats. Majority of the world supports Serbia. That's one thing. Second uh -huh, thing uh -huh. is how it affects Let's me. See, 26, it's a disputed. So twenty two out of twenty seven. Let me finish. You ask me the Wait, question. Wait, well, you said man. you said something wrong. I but just you want to ask me you. the question. So please, 20, please let me so, finish. Hold on. Can I can uh, I finish? Twenty two EU member states recognize Kosovo. Twenty six. Oh, it's out EU, of so it matters more. They are white, well, so it matters more. You guys so are in Africa Europe. Don't matter. Those people from Africa don't matter. Is this the argument that you're going wait, for? Well, hold on. Wait, actually, wait. I'm, wait, I'm, ge I'm genuinely curious. Wait, hold on. This is absurd. Genuinely this is, curious. This is if I'm absurd. trying to, if I'm trying to look for regionalist attitudes towards Kosovo, this why would I look absurd. towards Africa? Wait, out of curiosity, what is why? What can you explain to me? What position Nigeria would have on Kosovo that would influence my perspective? 
Why? Why would I care about any other than its what about, neighbors? What, okay, what about Russia, China? Why India? would I care about, about Russia? Brazil? Why would I care about Russia and China? God, these because fake lefties, is, uh, man. This is, this is, this yes, because... we, yes, we know, we know, we know, we know, because you guys are miniature Russia, so you have about, to keep your okay, pathetic what about secondary Spain? hegemon. What about Romania? What about Greece? What about Slovakia? What about yeah. all of those countries? What about all the countries that I listed? 22 out of 27 of the EU member but, 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 states, 26 out of 30 Why do you think they matter more than other countries? This is, this this is a superiority complex. The Again, only you're showing superiority complex. You're the, you're, yeah, we uh, are. <laughs> you, you can't. Yeah, no shit. You International you recognition is about power. Thank you. But thank you for admitting it live on the stream that you're well, engaged in a superiority method. Holy shit! Live on stream, we acknowledge the fact that international recognition comes down uh, to power. That's crazy. People are going to be writing books about this one for but that's decades. Not how, that's not how it works in so, principle. That's not how so it you know work. who recognizes to Kosovo? The law that you signed, according so basically, you're telling Kosovo me that you recognizes Kosovo and Serbia doesn't. But you guys got your ass kicked by NATO, so you know um, it's kind but of a NATO, situation you can't no, do much but about. We did not get our ass kicked by the NATO. That's the thing. The NATO. So by the end of the war, signed a resolution where it says that Kosovo is a part of Serbia. How did we get our ass kicked by the NATO when the resolution that you signed by the end of the war, which marked the ending of the bombing? Dude, I, ta I take it back. We should have bombed you guys for way the f longer. We should have we should have dropped that. We should have nuked you, you guys. I, I, see, I can, Holy I can shit! Talk about Wait, America, how but I don't we do didn't that. get our ass kicked by NATO? We could liquidate your country. Are you fucking kidding me? It so, took it but, took but, one uh, bombing run for you guys is, to surrender. Are you fucking kidding me? To ninety nine. The, the 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 what mark there the is nothing the serbians like more than killing albanians and you guys that gave up so even that true. with just one bombing that, run it's like the one ignore... thing god gave you guys <laughs> what what just to like shift a little bit uh what do you think is another feature of in reality that you obtain simply by identifying as having such um american cool so identifying as an american makes you an american uh, in like a cultural sense, like socially, like, are you an American? Yeah. Um, at least it's not a disprovable thing. I mean, I think that some people might have a stronger case to it if they can, you know, make the argument, but it's not an empirically provable or disprovable thing. Being so a fan I, of anything, um, I think being religious. Oh, people say they're Christian, Jewish, uh, Muslim, but then you see them like not going to church or, or whatever. Um, you can't really disprove them on that. Well, so that's what I'm saying. I think there's in all of these three cases, there are still necessary conditions that must be met. Like um, I'll use like Islam in order to be a Muslim, you must believe in a monotheistic God in order to be a sports fan. You must at least know what the sport is. I think we can agree there um, in order to what was the first one in order to be an American and cultural sense, you must at least identify with some of the American cultural traits, not none. So there I don't are think that's true. There are there so, are Christians, for example, that actually believe in like multiple deities. Um, uh, and they're not Christian. Then they're they practice their different religion. Tell them that. Our, our, I will. Our, our <laughs> like, people, our members. That's not how categories work. Wait, are members if, of the Anglican Church Christian? The ones who broke off from the Pope? I don't. Yeah, if they believe in a monotheistic God, they meet that condition. That's so not the definition these... of Christianity. Whoa, 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 whoa. I know. I'm just. I know. I know. I know. I know. We were just talking about polytheism versus. No, no, no. I mean, no, no, but, no. This is important. The, yeah, wait, yes, the Protestants yes, yes, yes. were not considered to be real Christians after the split in the church, after uh, Henry VIII. So are you telling me then that the Anglican Church and all the subsequent in Protestant order, groups... I'll say this. In order to be a Christian, I suppose you need to believe in Jesus as the Messiah. You need to believe in the Bible and you need to believe in the triune monotheistic God, right? Those three things. The same way, in order to be a How man... How do you get to decide that? What? There are people who don't adhere to that, who consider themselves And then Christians. I tell them they're not. Oh, the same well, what way that makes people you don't the adhere judge? to. Because then they would be a different religion. They, they well, wouldn't fit so, that category. Okay, so Protestants and Catholics disagree. Are they different religions? They still meet those three conditions. No, but you're the one deciding those conditions. Who, who's to say you're not full of shit? I think that the, my conditions are most consistent, and if anybody wants to challenge me on that, they're more than welcome they to have, do No, so. there are literally millions of people who would behead you for saying that right now. Like, they would behead you for this. Well, there's millions of people who would behead either of us for even having this discussion. So I agree. I, I agree. No, no, no. But you you just but, like, no, 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 no. This is the critical thing. You impose a fake standard of consistency where none exists. What you're doing right now, you just did a social construct. You're like, well, objectively, you're not really a Christian if you don't meet these categories. I literally just came up off the dome. Says who? Okay, Christianity let's, let's is a social something. construct. Trump wins. Uh, chances that there's not enough, uh, chances that we're not getting a 2028 election if Trump wins.
What's the what's the Bosch forecast there? Total random guess, but I'd say like maybe thirty percent. Thirty percent chance there's no there's no twenty twenty eight election. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, it's, it's a very um, That's a, I, unqualified I mean, I, yeah. guess, of course. That's the best uh, yeah. I can do. Sure. Well, I, I asked that, for that. that. I'm not, I'm not going to oh, hold your feet to fire on it. I, I understand I asked for Obviously, a there's aspirational in the, in, the, in the Republican Party to that's make a, that happen. That's, that's, that's not, also that's a far cry from the fucking constant fear-mongering of, like, the camps will open on day one and democracy well, I mean, is in over. In fairness, 30% is a pretty scary number. 30% is a scary number, but you know, you you want to know what I think? You want to know what my prediction is? More yeah, of the I fucking sure. same. Okay, more of the so, fucking what, same. So more again, this is wealth from this is, the fucking This is what I mean. This class. is what I mean by reactionary politics through abstentiousness. You think you're being elevated, smart enough to see the bullshit, like a South Park character. You are um, failing to identify the broadside of a barn. Like every successful socialist movement ever has been able to tell the difference, and every one that ended up dead couldn't. The Stalinists in Germany back during the 1930s couldn't tell the difference between the Nazis and the Social Democrats, the Social fascists which mass graves do you think they were buried in we can't afford to make these mistakes we th th this is it's pivotal the republicans are screaming from the top of their lungs what they want to do there is no equivocacy they have been calling for the removal of the fbi as an institution they have, they have been since i was born what's your point no no they have no you are not paying attention if you think that you're vaguely gesturing you're waving oh i vaguely remember them being there no you have no, no idea i don't vaguely remember no it. you're I, then I you don't then you remember nothing remember then your mind on this subject is a void. This is incomparable. This is like you you think the 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 the, the Patriot Act being passed compares in any way to the protracted multi-year-long campaign on every level of the GOP coordinated to delegitimize the election. They did well, an insurrection. The, 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 the creation of unitary executive theory and its application by both parties since George W. Bush is another thing. I, I mean the fact the fact that the president can declare war without congressional approval is a modern okay construct. just again for 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 clarity's sake here okay right now we have a democracy where you can vote and the person you vote for can win the world that he wants to build is one in which every single member of government that is either elected or appointed fundamentally cannot accept a victory from a democrat they were pushing to rewrite state laws on election counting that would allow them to throw out opponents votes Can I ask both they don't even need to do that they've been doing a, a question i understand gerrymandering you can't you can't keep a quick you're like you're describing the difference between like stubbing your toe and getting bricked with a hammer as like well they both hit me you have no idea what you're talking about what you're engaging and right now is not enlightened leftist perspective you're engaging in bottom of the barrel south park cartman ass tier zero <laughs> iq centrist moderate hasn't learned a thing about politics in their entire life bullshit equivocacy how dare you you claim to care about the legacy of your union parents you would literally preside over a death camp and go well you know, Biden probably would have done this too. Like, it's like, disgusting. What? It's it's senseless. <laughs> if you genuinely fuck, believe bro. that there uh, is a comparison to be made, I beg you to educate yourself because there is none. It is not comparable. I mean, uh, so let's talk about what what NATO has managed to achieve for the Kosovo because you are. No, wait, I was with... talking about you. We 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 were talking about but why you. Why do you want to talk about me so much? Because like your your nationalism is crippling your brain. I just want. But to know I what never you get said anything about nationalism. You are the one you who engaged in nationalism. You called yourself a Serbian rhetoric. nationalist in my yes, in my email but device. but 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 the Serbian nationalist. When it comes to those stuff, I usually talk about my foreign policy towards other approaches and economic uh economic policies. I do not think I I'm gonna tell you that the most Serb Serbs uh, agree with me on these issues, and that the Serbian state. Yeah, uh, I don't. Wait, why would I care what your people think? You guys suck. You're like the worst. Because because that means that according to you, everyone, a single of them is a nationalist, and that they engage in this rhetoric. I didn't say every but single one of them. A lot of you guys, though, there are a lot of Serbian nationalists. That is true. Nationalist sentiment is high in Serbia. The whole the whole Balkan region. You you people all have some kind of. Okay. brain defect i don't so, know so you see you're calling see you call <laughs> you it's really funny how you engage you know it's how you label yourself as a lefty but at the same time you manage to uh to use this insult 
in a racist manner. And this goes through so easily. Like, I just don't believe it. But we're going to put that aside. I want to talk about what you managed to achieve on a Kosovo. So oh, currently, Kosovo, whatever, whatever brain defect you have doesn't get in the way of the mass expulsion and murder of Albanians. So it hasn't but, but, affected uh, but, you guys in your day to day uh, lives. But Kosovo, leaders of Kelly were accused of, of ethnic cleansing as well. Yeah, good what thing. That, good thing you two got split up then, like unruly children. But we are not going to. We are not split up. There is a huge minority in Serbia that is getting prosecuted as we are speaking. What minority? Which you going to ignore that? Min sorry, minority in Kosovo of the Serbs. Sorry. How how in many? The what, what minority? Uh, 150,000 people approximately. Okay. It, it would be much more, but you, you know, so yeah. let's, man, let's talk I about... Wonder, it's, that's crazy. I wonder if the Serbs did anything recently that might have made the people in Kosovo dislike them. Uh, we no, might never know. Absolutely not. We did not do anything. <laughs> so we tried to, we tried to engage in a very peaceful... Uh, Dude, come on. This is like a talks. joke. Very peaceful. Come on. Yeah. Nah, okay, wait. I can play along for a bit, but like, you're, like, you're, uh, so just, just so you know, ideologically, you're indistinguishable <laughs> from a Holocaust denier. You just have a different, like, national axe to grind. But you, but you Instead of the Jews, of the it's Serbs. the it's the infinite cabal of the Albanians looking to displace Serbs. Instead of the um uh, the great replacement of uh, white people, it's the great replacement of Serbs. Instead of the Holocaust not happening, actually, it's like NATO lied about everything and all these so facts that say that we were doing You're accusing me of being a Nazi, we being a Nazi. but what you're doing is no, accusing no, no, me of no, being no, a no, Nazi. No, 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 no. I'm okay. saying, wait, hold on. No, I'm not calling you a Nazi. Okay. The difference is they actually came closer to winning their war. All right. Goodbye. All right. Good hustle. Yeah, but y you literally deny their their ability. To, yes, uh, I deny your ability to murder and rape no, people as well. People yes. Are... No, no. Yes, no. I do. Yes, I will call the police on you if I see you raping somebody. I will. Amazing, but you 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 believe in the freedom to allow people to encroach on somebody else's. Uh, property and or land or nation it's not that way property and land are things owned by freedom. the individual the nation is not owned by any individual that's not how it works also i like you okay, to throw but... property land and nation together as though these three things are comparable you know like my backpack my toothbrush my planet you know um no no uh you have a uh, right over the things you own nobody owns the united states that's actually kind of part of the whole founding uh, documentation, you know? Unlike, say, for example, uh, feudal states in which the entirety of the kingdom was literally owned by the monarch, in America, we're owned broadly by the people. The government owns land, and the government is ruled by the people. But the government has to abide by people's freedoms. And that's where we get back to the whole, it's not actually denying your freedom to deny you the ability to let black, to keep black people from moving in or whatever. I mean, really, do you, do you know how pathetic this sounds? It's been going on for what, nearly an hour no. and a half now. You've been literally unable to provide any ethical or empirical argument to, for denying immigration of different ethnic groups. And now you're whining that it's taking away your freedom to deny other people their freedom. This is such a waste of time, honestly. I thought you would be more no, forthcoming, it, but it seems the true depths of your retarded racism are being kept oh. privately to you. The first time we <laughs> talked, you unironically 1350'd me, which is like the, I don't know what that would be this is like the equivalent of a fish jumping out of the oh, water to land on a pier sure, so it can, can be clubbed to death it. wait no we're we're an You're hour really and a half in talk. no we're an hour and a half in you now you want to i've been asking you to provide real arguments this entire time and after rolling back to actually you're taking away my freedom by taking away my right to deny other people freedom now we're going to go to 1350 you know what my answer to this is by the way it's an unwinnable topic for you you know that perfectly well if you had, if no, you paid no, attention no. to a single moment of your sociology class, you would know that the 1350 discourse, you might as well be presenting your asshole to me. Why? Why? Why do we talk about this? Well, well I'm sure if I showed you my asshole, you'd probably stick it in. It's your day. But like, I, I just want to say uh, this. Was like, that, I'm sorry, was that, you... was that of interest to you? For me, that was just a bit of petty, um, uh, a jokes thing. But no, you, did no, you, did uh, you well, perk up when you heard me say that? Did your ears perk? No, I'm not hardwired. Did your I'm eyes? I'm not hardwired like that. Oh, well, interesting. I mean, fact, you gave it more thought asshole. than I did. No dude, no dude has ever pointed his asshole at me. That's just kind of weird. But I'm just You did give me that, that like, like five minute um I can't help being straight conversation earlier. If there's anything else you would like to talk about, by the way, um I would be happy okay, to be your yeah. makeshift therapist. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm a gay dude. I like to suck the snakes, but really thank you, dude. But anyways Does it feel good it to have gotten it back? Hey, absolutely. Um it feel, feels amazing. Just like just like um
you know, what the f- is his name? Um, the, God damn it. Who's the black dude who, who turns out he was gay and grooming boys? Jesse Lee Peterson. Jesse Peterson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. It was politics. This is how politics work. I'm, ta- At the end of the day, I'm talking about Democrats politics. They were ripped from power. They were not unified within the Bolshevik party. They were kicked out of politics entirely. In some cases, actually imprisoned. What are you talking about? I'm only saying that both Mao and Lenin allied with... Um, yes, uh, uh, they temporarily uh, allied with people that were part of one segment of ruling class to force the other side of the ruling class out of power. Yes. And then they now, why? Class. So why did Mao choose the PRC to fight with over Imperial Japan? And why did Lenin choose the liberal reformists over the Black Hundreds? People under the Red Revolution. What? Because the Japanese imperialists were slaughtering the people that were under the banner of the Red Revolution. Okay, so the... Okay, okay. Great. So the imperial Japanese were worse than the PRC during the occupation of Manchuria. Oh, sorry, not the PRC, the ROC. The Republic of China. For a temporary alliance to defeat them. Okay. I agree. So maybe... (laughs) Bourgeois democracy or liberal democracy exists as a kind of tool that socialists can use and exploit in order to achieve real socialism, whereas systems like dictatorship and fascism uh, are harder for socialists to exploit. The difference between Japanese imperialism and, say, American imperialism is that Japan was not in the position to extract the wealth of, of the global south, the south and far east. However, the United States imperialists are in that position. They are the main enemy in our time period. First of all, that has nothing to do with what I was talking about. Second of all, Japan was literally creating the co, like, a Southeast Asian prosperity sphere. They were literally creating an imperial empire at the time. They were worse than us. They slaughtered millions. America has exploitative trade deals these days. Millions. How many, how many, we did the banana wars, we, you know... Okay, are you going, wait, please tell me, wait, please tell me that America today... Uh, The wars in Iraq, the war in Afghanistan, the war in Vietnam... He's going through the list. uh, I actually think, I I genuinely think if you went over, like, all those wars... Com- all the he's not, he's not stopping. America. A good context and, like, a good example of what you're trying to Okay, sure. So let's say, let's take, let's take a topic um, of yours that you may be less familiar with, okay? Let's say there's a woman, all right? And she's out in town having a great time, okay? And then somebody tries to rape her. It's not good, I assume. We're, okay, we're on this together, okay? So the woman, not wanting to be raped, hits the rapist. This is good, right? Yes. Okay. Are you comparing rape to an invasion of a country? Because you do realize a state is different than like conflicts between people. You're right. The difference is the Russian army rapes many people. We're only talking about one rape here. So this is way less. I mean, um, 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 I don't doubt that. But then again, there was that one Ukrainian lady that got fired for not finding any Russian rapes a few months ago. I have no clue what you're talking about. Oh, do you like do you like you dig through up. evidence to find defense of nothing? Nothing. We're not getting off point. Okay. So um, <laughs> no, I'm just no. It's okay. No, well, it's, it's okay. I know. I'm well sure you spent a lot of time researching torn. exonerations of claims of war crimes against the Russian no, military. No, I just read so, well, read uh, from what from what like... news source do you get that actually. Never mind. Answer I... that when I'm done. So anyway, so it is good to defend yourself against that. Great. Now, what if it turns out that the woman who's defending herself against that is also, um, I don't know, let's say a, a banker. Do we, do we dislike bankers here? Okay, what's your point? Like a, like a bank, like, do we dislike bankers here? Like, a, like uh, when a person works- What kind a, of a banker? Okay, okay think about, of... let's say a cop, let's say a cop. Like they're, they're an off-duty cop, how about that? They're an off-duty cop. Okay. okay. But then someone Why tries to rape her. Why rape her? Was she because she was a cop or because she was just like a random person? Wait, do you think it's okay to rape lady cops? I don't care about cops. If you're if you're go if somebody's targeting you because you're a cop, I I hope you get a humane treatment. Do you not do are you do you think it's okay for cops to just shoot up people? 
Do you think that institution is okay where, where to exist? Your, do you think where does your brain go, man? Like you? Where does your brain go? I so I no, think I, it's bad I when think... cops kill people, and also it's bad to rape people. Yeah, I have both of those. I, I I actually also hold both of those. Spare beliefs. my sympathies for like a cop who got over because she was a cop. Okay, so like you the think same it's way, okay. I don't care if a if if okay let's say an american soldier just came back from his tour you, of iraq there's no digging and out iraqi, of this pit you might as well just stop iraqi, talking well let's go to whites only immigration so we no. go back to the 1950s quota system that tilted the immigration to northern europe and eastern europe and go back to that that was fine What's i'm fine with, with how we have it now but i want if it's more so actually. great yeah of course you are but mm -hmm. white people i have a white who people. actually care it white people who care about their race who care about their heritage who want a homogenous state why don't should like we that. i don't care don't, about a homogenous like, state don't like that see the yeah, problem you care, but you, the you're, problem you're a is at the end of the day Vosh. the problem is at the end of the day like you, you want every country you can to be never like your you can never offer utopia, right? a better argument than like well we should defend white people because we should defend white people it's always because after the brain damage you have real you presuppose. group of people well, well, why do we should black try to make the world people? better? What, 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 hang for on, as many why do, people why as we do can. Black people, what, why do black people defend black people then? We should defend everyone and try to maximize the well being for but everyone. Why does BLM as best as defend possible. black people then? BLM doesn't advocate for a black ethno state, Martinez. You okay, are advocating they, for a white they, ethno state. They, they advocate for pro black policy. They're, they're not concerned okay. about white people. If, if those pro black, white black policies are sensible. Crap. The problem white, white is, victims of, when, hang on a second. You, when you, they you, say you like pro black there, policy, what they mean is helping black people. And when you Andrew, say pro we're white have to policy, do two minutes, you mean hurting he, he white people. He won't let me talk. Look, uh, you interrupt as much as he does. I have a counter next to me. Like so you, let, I, let's the, do, sorry, let's it's do just my minutes. my white jeans. I colonized just, the conversation. Well, so look, BLM, what, I, I do what's think this racial grievance? Forth, right. I'm Polish, BLM Irish. You're Martinez. We can't people. get along. The racial gap really does widen. So, you know? so BLM BLM's allowed to advocate for black people. There's other black organizations that advocate for black people, even though there's absolutely no laws. Uh, discriminating against black people it's all been abolished and rescinded and we're moving towards the opposite of that which is black black supremacy black privilege um and so uh you know why why the hell would white people then say oh okay let's just let all the my the racial minorities do that but we're not going to do that we're, we're going to be individuals and we're not going to care about race we're just going to um are black people others... trying to keep white people from immigrating in let the others care about race. Well, can you answer I've that viewed... question? Are black people saying we should protect black people by not allowing white immigration? Is that a thing that they say? Uh, I think that there are black politicians who probably do want to tilt immigration for black people. I know. Wait, hold or, on. Or, wait, who, non, who here is out there? People. What black politicians are saying we should stop having immigration from Western European countries? Get the f out of here. That's well, the they, thing. They, the they difference, know that it's the difference is, from there, and though. this is, and this is, this is the reason why, like, Stacey chose Tyrone over you in school. It's because they're not cowards. So when they, they say that... when they say they value pro-black policy, they mean helping black people. When you say pro-white, you mean hurting black people. You're so, a coward. You don't give a so f about when, helping white people. What are your policies on uh, economic Biden, divestment? Wait, hey, Biden policies on economic says, divestment. What will you do to help the, the wages of the average white this? working family? What are you when going Biden to do says, about economic alienation in the suburbs? Joe Biden says it's a good thing whites are becoming a minority. Give me a policy says, that'll help he, white he people. Says, Give me says, a policy that'll help white people. Stopping immigration from non-white countries. This is what I countries. mean. It's always it, about hurting non-white people. You don't have one. What are you going to do about in white, income inequality or in capitalism? In You're trying to tell me that the U.S. imperialists are are actually better than the Japanese imperialists or better than almost any other imperialists other than maybe the British? Okay, hold on. Real. Real quick, even if you added all of those together, yeah, I do think that America is a hell of a lot better than the Imperial no, Japanese. I know you don't think that because America bad is your it's only I, like ideology, you but you the logical position because you're a national chauvinist that supports <laughs> the United States no matter what. <laughs> Are you a pro rape of Nanking? Um, out of curiosity, I don't know what that is. Holy shit! Um. <laughs> Wow. Um, Jesus. Uh, yeah.
chat, where do I go? Where do I go next? Um. <laughs> no, I know. Me too. Um. How's your day going? So why do you support Ukraine? Why do you actually support Ukraine? I could I could answer, but you're not gonna like it. You're gonna have some weird I want you to answer so it can knock it down. So go ahead and answer. Oh, okay. Because the people of Ukraine don't want to be invaded by Russia. That's why. That's that's at the end of the day, that's the only reason. Region, uh, fourteen thousand of them wanted to be slaughtered by the Azov Battalion and other <laughs> Nazi. I said he's Ukraine. gotta have a weird ass. Like, what the f does this have to do with not wanting them to get invaded? Like, it's like totally tangential. So again, the reason I support them is because they don't want to be invaded by Russia. No weird so Azov analogy can like no parallel can take you away from that. The People's Donbass Republic. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, I'm when well, we're talking about from puberty blockers to cross sex hormones, so that they don't they don't ever develop the ability. Well, they they do because when they take the cross sex hormones, they experience that puberty. I'm saying out of the mouth of Marcy Bauer's surgeon, who's conducted a lot of these procedures and who's been treating a lot of trans youth. She has said out of 2,000, none of them are able to have an orgasm. Jazz Jennings can't. It's it's just like, this is what we know. So, Abigail and surgeon Marcy Barris falsely claimed trans girls on puberty blockers lack sexual response after vaginal I, I I just, I, that is not true. If Marcy Bowers said that, then on this, Marcy was incorrect. But you, you, you have avoided my question there which was like if you could get a hundred to to one would that be like except because ultimately this is out if it's based, kids right? then it's zero for but, me so then you you just don't want there to be any medical intervention on for trans youth because it can never i don't be think zero. that the affirmative model of care can be i mean i don't think that um what am i trying to With the current model of care that we have, no, I don't think it's a good idea to medically transition kids. If we're talking about a different model of care, maybe. Yeah, so if we had a different model of care, one that, I don't know, was more scrupulous or like the Dutch model or whatever you preferred, and you could you could get that that ratio of care, um, because ultimately this is outcome driven. Like you, you, would, you would decide how satisfied you are with the model of care based on its results. We don't really care about the model of care for itself. We care about the results that it begets. Um, for me personally, I think that while detransitioners exist, there are far more trans youth who regret not being able to access an appropriate level of medical care for them. You mean adults who wish they had transitioned when they're younger? No, and trans youth. Um, I imagine that for a young trans person going through a puberty they don't want to go through is quite a, quite upsetting, you know? If oh, you're but a, puberty is upsetting for everybody. For, no. I liked going through puberty. I was I was already large and strong. Well, you're a boy. And it made me larger and stronger. I am a boy. But if I was somebody who didn't particularly like being large, strong, and hairy, who didn't like having a deep voice and hairy arms, then I imagine this would have been very upsetting for me. I liked it. But if somebody was so upset with it that it could send them into suicidal depression, which is often something that transgender youth who are not able to go on hormone blockers experience, you know, I do feel for them if they can't get that medical care. I, like, at the end of the day, Israel just does monstrous shit all the time, and it gets so fucking indignant when anything bad happens to it. When it causes, like, so, why does everyone hate so, me? I don't know, dude. Has you, have you done anything hateable, Israel? Have you done anything to antagonize your neighbors? I wonder. So, so, so what, did you, what did you expect to happen in, like, you can, wait, wait, Really quickly, really, I, I just have to yeah. say, I hate yeah. this, what do you expect to happen, okay? If Israel did something, they did something. I'm not talking about like, oh, after this, what do you expect? If they did a thing, they did a thing. What did Israel expect? Was, did anything obligate Israel to make millions of Palestinian refugees? Was there like, um, like a divine mandate that made them do it? It was their choice. They chose to do that. 
because the people who did it were evil. And that's all there is to okay. it. Okay. And the Palestinians chose Hamas. Uh, yeah, in 2006. And my, they chose Intifadas. My argument is that at that point, Israel yeah. had given them basically no other choice. And you haven't responded to that, by the way. Like, I, can't, I keep arguing over, yeah, like, no. over and over again, like decades and decades of diplomatic efforts. It seems like you weren't even aware of them because you, you framed like all the wars as though they were like fought between Israel and Palestine. Yeah, but you're acting like the Palestinians were like standing on the side, like, okay, guys, fight this who, war. Again, Obviously not. Yeah, why would they not support the people who okay, are fighting the they, people, brutalizing okay. them? No, 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 okay, no, again, 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 no, 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 no. I again, get you. No, the Palestinians are, no, again, this isn't a matter of, well, what do you expect? The Palestinians are morally correct in supporting the enemy of their enemy. The Israelis are morally incorrect in doing genocide. You can't say, well, what did you expect? Why would Israel not do genocide after the people they were genociding sided with the people who were trying to stop the genocide? No okay. shit. Of course they so, would side. The Palestinians have every right to. The Palestinians have every right to basically any support of any military opposition to Israel. They are being genocided. This is like libertarianism 101. I mean, they're literally being kept in, a, in, in an open air prison. Why would they not? Like, Israel cuts their water, man. There, in what, the Gaza what, Strip, what, even what, before the conflict, only like ten percent of people. Why, why would why would Israel owe them water? They live in Israel; it's Israel territory. What do you no, mean owe the them Gaza water? Strip. They left the Gaza Strip in two thousand five. What? It's still Israel. The military occupation left. It's still Israel. It's Israel controls the water in. This is what I mean. This is why I like talking to people like you, because you're fucking monsters. You, 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 you go through like the runabout, but then I hear, well, why would it be bad exactly for Ukraine to do war crimes back? It's like you don't comprehend what is or isn't acceptable reprisal on a social level. You say you're a libertarian, but you're okay with the police and the military, the least libertarian institutions in the world. And then when we get right down to it, um, who said two million people had to be given water? Who said water is a human right? I do. I do say that. And if people like you are the kinds of people that Palestinians had to deal with when they tried to fight for their rights, no shit they turned to Hamas. Because they probably thought that, I don't know, suicide bombing buildings full of people like you was a far more effective route to their freedom than trying to explain to people like you why they deserve to have water as a human right. How, 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 how dare you even pose that as a question? Like, beca because Israel left, like, the, the military occupation, the, 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 they just die now? They just get to die? They chose Hamas. They chose Hamas. Let I'm Hamas choosing to uh, end the call. Of the water. Nice. What a fucking monster, dude. You're trying to explain why we should support U.S. imperialism. No, That's I just said doing. that I support Ukraine in this war because they don't want to be invaded by Russia. Because they are a puppet of the U.S. government. They have sure. been a puppet of the U.S. government since 2014. Sure. Yes, sure. sure. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. That's uh -huh. what they did. Maybe we should... Okay, let's try a new tactic, okay? I support Ukraine because I'm an American chauvinist and I want America to conquer the world. Um, I believe America's true socialism, um, the founding fathers with their constitution enshrined socialism into the law of the land. And I think that you're a fascist and I think that uh, uh, you're, you're a revisionist. And uh, yeah, we're going to do global American socialism. Oh, I'm the revisionist. The, 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 Unironically, the yes. You're, you're actually the most revisionist human in existence. There's nobody more revisionist than you. Revisionism doesn't exist. That's first off, okay? Wait, 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 what did you just say? Yeah, revisionism is not a thing. <laughs> material conditions change, therefore your ideology should change based on... This, 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 this man, his whole family and his entire town would have been shot in fucking uh, Stalinist Russia, dude. Holy shit. This, it would not have been enough for them to have gotten you, man. They would, they, they would have fucking nuked your home village. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Hmm. You okay. actually are supporting U.S. imperialism. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Uh, NPC dialogue line reset. It's like ending a convo with a Skyrim NPC and then restarting it, and they get, you get the same opening line from them. Um, you gave the example. One of your arguments against the biological definition of uh, woman was that we didn't know about chromosomes many years ago. Well, first of all, I don't think biological sex is defined in terms of chromosomes. Um, but let's just use the example of water. Maybe we could agree that water is H2O. 
Um, that was true even before we knew about chemistry. That was the definition of water before anybody knew anything about chemistry, before we knew about H2O. Back when Aristotle thought it, water was just an element. Nevertheless, this it was H2O. True. I'm sorry? This isn't Go true. That water has not always been H2O? Yeah. All you have to do is cross the Mexican border. And over there, it's aqua that's H2O, not water. Aqua means water. Aqua is water. It's a different they, term. Uh, actually, it's agua. It's not aqua, right? And we're referring <laughs> to terms and definitions here. No, I'm referring to water, the stuff that fills lakes and rivers. The I'm stuff that fills about the word one. Many things fill lakes and rivers. Okay. Um, do you honestly things, not know what I mean when I talk about water? Or are you I, just being a little I difficult? think you, you made a mistake before you began that argument, which is that you said just because people didn't always know something doesn't mean that it can't be true. But that can't be the yeah. case when we're talking about definitions. Things that are true have constructed premises that lead necessarily to an, an outcome, a resolution. But a definition is something applied presuppositionally. You can say, for example, that the light, the, the spectrum of light that we see, the visible spectrum of light, is something that exists outside of our perception. And that is certainly true. But how we perceive it is not existentially correct. And what's more, the definition between red, orange, and yellow is not something that you can find proven uh, anywhere uh, in the real world. We have to arrive at arbitrary distinctions. Um, so that's, th can, that's, the can I just ask you about water again? Do you, do you, do you not think water is H2O? But I think we've come up with a term to describe what we refer to as water. There are okay, of course not, other I, cultures that I, have had I agree with you. We came up with a term to talk about water. Right. That term is water. And we came up with terms to talk about hydrogen and oxygen. Um, mm -hmm. but what's here, here's a sentence. Water is H2O. You know what those terms mean. Now think about what idea is expressed by the words. What's the thought that's expressed? We could express it in many different languages. Now think about the thought that's expressed by that sentence. That's true, isn't it? The thought that is expressed by the sentences. Water is H2O. What do you think? And it was long before we got here, long before humans got here. Water has always been H2O. Well, ice, of course, is also H2O, but water is what it we is, define it as within a given you know, state. Ice is also water. It's not liquid water. Yeah, but, but colloquially, people refer to ice as ice and water as water. Yes. And whether or not they're going to use either of those definitions is going to come down to context. And what about heavy water, 2H2O, <sighs> or deuterium oxide, which is referred to as water and is, in fact, a type of of water, an isotope, uh, but is not, in fact, H2O. There's an extra hydrogen atom holding on there, making the substance denser. Mm. So if this is taking me back to chemistry class, but um, did you say deuterium? Is that right? Is that heavy water? Yes. If that's a, just an isotope, is it an isotope of oxygen that makes that? If that's an isotope, it's still oxygen and it's still H2O, and that is still H2O. That's it still is water. That's a different chemical water. compound than water. Certainly, if people wanted to refer no. to it as a different type of thing, not water, but let's say they chose the term waterium. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Scientists come up with wacky names. If they wanted to come up with a term like that to describe it, they would have a significant taxonomical distinction to refer to, a different molecular composition. But we refer to it as water. You might say it's trans water. A bit of a difference, but fundamentally very similar. Like, you are so coping right now. The United States is experiencing a massive decline. You know, the material conditions, we have roads that are being reclaimed all across this country, turning back into dirt roads. We have... Uh, yeah, that's called uh, environmentalism. Like San Antonio, Texas, that, you know, last year, you know, where the water supply was poisoned. We have, you know, Flint, Michigan, that still doesn't they have were clean water. We have... Uh, highways that are falling apart. We have rail systems. Bourgeois that are highways. You're talking about all of these systems, right? Uh, or rather, I'm talking about all these systems that are collapsing right in front of our eyes right now. And yeah. you actually think, while well, China is out there building high speed rail, while Russia is advancing the, uh, their oil production, <laughs> while, uh, you know, you have countries like yeah, Russian Russia, oil is doing Russia, great right now. We have the United States collapsing, and you think that the United States is on top. That's um, insane. Yeah. You are absolutely we, insane. We don't have money for infrastructure because we're spending all of it on socialism. We don't have money because we're spending on the military industrial complex. The we socialist. Mil money. Wait, the military industrial complex owned by the government? Socialism.
the f did you even say? The military industrial complex. It's uh, uh, controlled by the DOD, the largest employer in the United States, aka state owned enterprise, aka socialism. Socialism is not just state enterprise. That's yes, state is. capitalism. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Also, I you're a visionist. Right into the future, they can absolutely protest. And my point was that well, no, 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 these said, laws would have would have denied them the ability to protest, and they were already gunning down protesters. They, they, they gunned down. They got, they did engage. And I have to look at this. Hold on, this uh, Wikipedia. That I'm so wait, so wait. I thought I thought we were leftists in favor of like the people's rights here. Do they not have a absolutely. right to like rise up against this? Yeah, they do absolutely. I'm talking about actually the elements, you know, in Ukraine, which tended to act, which tended to be responsible for the violent acts of uh, against the government. And if you you compared at that article, the West backing protests that, against this to oh, Russia I'm, arming paramilitary groups that have essentially engaged in soft secession no, in East Ukraine. I'm listen. I'm saying paramilitary groups were also being supported, and they got some of the arms coming into Kiev uh, from the United States from Western governments. It's not just. I'm listen. I absolutely. So where where in your, where in your thing does it say that? By the way, because while I was reading your thing, I didn't see any of that. I was I was just seeing like the geopolitical reasons why they supported Ukraine protesters over the Armenian protesters. Where where here does it say that? I don't know. I have to look at that. It, it says that. No, 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 no. Because you keep running back to it. Where? What? Give me something I can control F. What well, can that, I... wasn't, that, that article that I sent you wasn't about actually the U.S. Army, those specific groups. I'm then the what the fuck are you I'm doing? Saying... Where? Listen. <laughs> no, Bosh, listen. I'm where? That. where? Where? What evidence? Wait. Tell me. Enlighten me, please. Where? Where's the army? That's the thing you keep bringing this to. I've read all of this. What? Where? I haven't read all of it. I seriously don't. I read, read every all single word. Where? Okay. Where? You know, I'm talking about the United States sending arms to Ukraine. Is there is there any term I can search? After, Anything no, I can look it, up? After Ukraine, yeah, Ukraine has received several batches of U.S. weapons. It, the Russian. Uh, I am aware of, of that. What about yes. you're saying we sent them weapons to support mm -hmm. military action against this leader? Can you? Give me a no, I'm, no, no, listen. After I'm saying, after the right, after those elements actually overthrew the government, after he had to actually flee to Moscow, the United States stepped up arming of the Ukraine. I'm going, I, this is it. You, so you were lying. Exactly you were true. lying. lying. You explicitly said we gave them arms to overthrow their president. What we did it no, after? I'm I'm saying the government was overthrown illegally, right? And the US I don't was care. The Wait, law? What are you a fucking liberal? Jesus what? Christ! What? Law? Law? <laughs> All right, Vaj, Where? I don't, I don't, what? What, what armaments? The U.S. has armed Ukraine. No shit. Good. I what? hoped we give them nukes. They shouldn't have taken them away. I don't care. You said really? we you were comparing Russia funding tens of thousands of paramilitary troops in East Ukraine to the overthrow of this. And now it turns out all we did was support the protesters. You're comparing funding paramilitary groups to supporting the protesters. No, I'm saying you Russia did. You explicitly funded. did that. You're not gaslighting me Listen. for an 87th time. Chat, Jesus Christ. did he not no, explicitly do that multiple times as I dug my I'm way through all this that. information, only now to arrive invariably at the fact that no, that didn't happen. You could at least have the decency to lie about it. All right. Shut up! I hung up. You think that countries like China and Russia that are working together to develop fusion energy, you really seriously think that they're the ones that are declining and it's not the United States that doesn't even have uh, proper uh, clean water? It's when funny, it's, it's funny how you would say, right it, it's funny how you would say the collapse of the United States is bad for America when the dissolution of the state is a prerequisite for communism. Look who's the communist now. The true conditions of the United States and working people is getting worse for this country. I don't want working people in this country to suffer. I want a government that actually represents working people and not multinational corporations. The very exact thing that you say that you support because you're supposedly some sort of socialist. No, right? we need the multinational oh corporations to take the wealth back that's been uh, extracted from the West. Say it again? We need the multinational corporations to take back the wealth that's been taken from the West by countries like Nicaragua and um, 
Guam. <laughs> oh yeah, it, it's the uh, so the <laughs> Nigeria. Saying, we, should we should have imperialism, right? To supposedly build back the labor aristocracy in the country. <laughs> Do you know how many dollars worth of bombs we gave to Laos for free? Well, I absolutely agree. The United <laughs> States shouldn't be giving bombs to anyone. That's one of the reasons why I'm against Joe Biden selling weapons to Saudi Arabia to bomb the Yemenis people, right? And that's part of the reason why I'm glad that Saudi Arabia is now moving in the direction to be part of BRICS, so they are no longer part of this U.S. imperialist system. What? I'm sorry. You're asking me what the wage rate is in the Kmart? Yeah, what are workers paid at Target and Walmart, the two primary competing big They're box stores in the United States? They're paid by the hour? Uh, where are we going? Help How me How much are they throw paid? Me, throw me an answer. So How I much are they paid? You. They're competing. They're competing on a huge scale. The amount of money going on between Target and Walmart exceeds that of, like, European medieval wars. Right, I mean, and we're they talking are... They, they an are enormous an excellent of example of organizations that are run ruthlessly efficiently. Uh, those huh. people don't have much bloat in them at all. Oh, really? I Except for my point. Oh, really? So there's nobody who works at Target then who's getting paid a lot of money? No bloat? Not even at the top? I'm sure there are. But those organizations are known for running with efficiency that is absolutely ruthless that's efficiency the reason most who? people are mad at them not because they're run with bloat efficiency for for who i'm sorry you and i were just discussing administrative bloat were we not um yeah here hold on wealth okay, of walmart, walmart and Kmart. family hold on it's a uh, target hold on the Target. Walton family fortune uh, is broken down as such: sixty-six point nine billion, sixty-six billion. The total fortune between all of them. Are you going to try to convince billion. me that the Walmart family is the administrative bloat? That the Walmart family is actually the what, fact in, that in the, the fact that you that don't thing? already know that is why you're a cultist. Yes. 191 billion to one family. That's worse than any administrative bloat in any public system in any country on the planet. Are you kidding? I bet you I couldn't find that kind of bloat in a I'm single sorry, government office in China. Jesus Christ. I see how you win your arguments. You billion? change the definition of, of No, no, of your terms no, that's you. No, no, no. This is why you're religious. Because to you, bloat can only mean wasting money on anything but the people who own it. In your mind, bloat can only be when the working man gets more. Bloat can only mean the inefficiency that You're occurs the one who when said workers the bloat get paid was more. Money going to the administrators of the schools. Yeah, I didn't and th say that. That's I was bloat. working with your definition. What is bloat to you, if not an enormous amount of money being concentrated in a tiny place while all the people who work at Walmart are on food stamps? Tell me, what is bloat? What? How is that 191 billion? How is that not bloat? It's pretty big. It's a pretty big amount of money. You stack that up in hundred dollar bills, and you would fill like a house. That's a lot. You couldn't even eat that many hundred dollar bills. It's a tremendous amount of money. Bloat. Is that the definition of bloat? Yeah, it's Large waste. Of it's money? wasteful. All that going to one person. That's ridiculous. Imagine if you had a buffet. Okay. Okay. Is that this the is the definition. This of is the Walmart buffet. All right. Uh, now we're going to rationally distribute the, 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 the food we have in these plates. All right. Everyone gets exactly one Frito chip. Okay. Everyone gets one little, little, little Dorito. Okay. And now we're going to build a warehouse to fill entirely with caviar. So one family can stare at it and rub their bellies appreciatively. Is this rational to you? I'm sorry. I thought we were talking about bloat. I am. They're going to get very bloated if they ever ate all that caviar, which they won't because it's too much for one family, which is kind of my point. The Communist and Socialist Party of America was at its height, right? No, it was at its height during the 1930s and 1940s coming out of the Great Depression. The largest that party in the United States when, today is a communist the, party. When the labor aristocracy is weak, that is when the, uh, the United States has strong uh, like class tendencies within the country. If you think class consciousness is at an all-time low in the U.S., then how did Biden win with record high votes in 2020? Are you seriously suggesting that Joe Biden was a vote of class consciousness? Are you suggesting he wasn't? Yes, I, I absolutely I am. That's not a class conscious vote. People voted for Joe Biden because they were sick of Donald Trump. That was it. Uh, the vote for Joe Biden was a victory for the working class over the uh, liberal reactionaries who supported Donald Trump. 
uh, were only China and India capable of following in our footsteps. If Russia could, they wouldn't be in the quagmire they're in right now, as the glorious um, socialist vanguard of Ukraine pushes back their weak and inept invasion attempts. As our socialist Himars rain down uh, thermokinetic bombs on your ammo depots. Yeah, let's be very clear. Ukraine bans socialist and communist parties. How could they possibly be a, a glorious vanguard of a country that are literally banning and killing communists? They're not killing any communists. Yeah, they are. No, they're not. They've, they've killed communists. They've killed, uh, killed Roma people. They've killed uh, uh, Russians. They've dared to kill uh, Ukrainian citizens that just happen to be more on the side of Russia than Ukraine. No, they haven't. They have, and they've slaughtered so many freaking people. Yes, they have. No, and Ukraine you can, has not killed a Ukraine. single person. Okay, clearly All Russian casualties have been due to friendly fire, me. such as the ineptitude of the fake socialist bourgeois capitalist state of Russia. The oligarchs I'm have not trained their men well. The of you right now, which is pretty fucking funny, because you basically you're you're not having an intellectually honest conversation with me right now. What you're doing is uh, creating the most sarcastic points that, that you don't actually even believe in the first place to uh, try to argue against my position at this point. That's all you're doing. I'm just trying to match the tone. It's something autistic people do when they're in mixed company. I'm just trying to match the level of uh, retardation present in this conversation wow. so that we can communicate on the same level. That, that clearly, what, you, what you're saying right now, that's, that's, not, that's not ableist at all. <laughs> Ableism isn't real. Socialism requires a frank, candid, and scientific understanding of the distinction between retards and non-retards, exemplified by this conversation. Determined largely by whether a person agrees with me or not. <laughs> Can you just admit that you've lost this debate? How could I Clearly, lose? I'm American. Frankie won this debate. The Red Phoenix is rising. We have defeated Vosh. This character can't stand and bring an argument against us. It is clear to me that the Yankee Tanky has won. We are victorious! Still in it, comrades!